41, Lyriel 1 Fire. Welcome back to House Flipper 2 Electric Boogaloo after like two months. <laughs> it's been a couple months since I played this. Um, yeah, I think it must have been. It, it would have been like June, I think, last time I played this. So it's it's been a little while. The, the hot summer has been getting in the way of regular streaming. But it's okay because my room is at a really comfortable 23 degrees Celsius right now, which is feels like a bit of a miracle with how warm things have been lately like I am at a livable temperature in my room and I don't even have to have my fan on today I didn't turn my fan on and I'm still okay it's wild it's so good <laughs> I just hope it stays like this because I have been suffering in the heat so it's so nice having it at a, a livable temperature again but uh welcome in everybody Wait, is the throwing not working again? Hold on, it should be. It should be. <laughs> I've got it all loaded up. Why, hmm. Give me a second. The actual thing is working. Is it just like, has it like unlinked me to Twitch or something? Hmm. No, it should be working. You should be able to throw things at me. Huh. I have no idea why it wouldn't work. Unless it, like, tries to throw something at me from the wrong side and it just doesn't show up on the screen. Who knows? <laughs> but, uh, welcome, everybody! Welcome on in! Huh. Huh. Okay, that's working. Oh, that worked. Okay, th that was strange. Because I didn't do anything. I didn't change anything. It, I, I don't know. It just decided to be a little silly, I suppose. <laughs> 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 
But uh, welcome everybody. Let me let me go through chat before I get distracted so I can say hello. Bob, congratulations on the first. Welcome, welcome. And thank you for the Did you do the hydrate? Yes, you did the hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate as well. Let me start with Can a monster. Hold on, let me do just like the test throws until one of the cans shows up. It's just like everything that is available as an item. It's mostly Tetris blocks. <laughs> Come on, where are the cans? It is mostly Tetris blocks. <laughs> this might take a while. There's an Estus flask. <laughs> where are the cans? There's one, there, there was a peach one. There was a peach can. <laughs> It's just like every single item <laughs> in my like throwable inventory. <laughs> but we got one of the cans, I'm happy. <laughs> it's not the one I'm drinking right now, I'm drinking the uh, the Ultra Fiesta, the mango flavor today. You missed it, can I do it again? <laughs> no. <laughs> I've had so many Tetris blocks thrown at my head. It's okay, the Hydrate Redeem will be like off cooldown in a little bit anyway. So then it should work properly, I hope. Anyway, Uncle Tim, hello, good morning. I am just going to call you Uncle Tim from now on, I hope you realize. Like, unless you tell me not to, I'm just gonna keep calling you Uncle Tim now. <laughs> good morning, Akira, thank you for always checking the sound alerts for me. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, happy Wednesday. And Mila, thank you so much for the resub for 41 months. I can't believe it's been so long. Every time I see the massive sub numbers, I'm like, one, there's no way I've been streaming that long. And two, there's no way people have stayed here that long. Like, I'm always so, so happy whenever I see, like, the big numbers with the subs. Because it's like, it means not only have you subbed, you've stayed subbed. And that, like, means a lot to me. It's like, not even with subs, too. It's like, when people do the follow age and it's been like, yeah, I've been following you for three and a half years since you started. Like, that always means so much to me because it's like, well, you were here at the beginning and you're still here. Like, that's so wild. And then it, like, when it adds up as well, when, when it starts, like, what am I trying to say? Hold on. My, my train of thought immediately derailed. Oh, it's just like, just like seeing people come back. Like, seeing a name from one stream and then seeing him come back for another stream. Whenever I see your name, I'm just like, oh, you came back, thank you. <laughs> so basically, what I'm trying to say is, um, thank you, <laughs> everyone. It's so nice. It's I, I started streaming mostly for myself, but the fact that people do actually want to, like, come and join me and stick around and spend time with me, like, that means a lot. I, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. <laughs> And it's like, I would still be doing this even if I had no viewers, but the fact that I do have viewers and that there, there are people who want to like stick around and spend time with me, like I, I love that so much. I think it's really nice. <laughs> but uh, let, me, let me continue. I'm getting distracted again. I haven't even said hi to everyone yet. <laughs> Aldo, lovely to see you. Hello, welcome, welcome. And Grace, no, hello. I, oh, did... I think Bob may have clipped the the can, so if you really did miss it, you can see it. <laughs> Sanya Rita, thank you for the air horns. Welcome. And the, oh, and the posture check too. I missed a posture. Oh, wait, those subs. Hold on, I'm gonna have a big stretch. I'm having a big stretch. Ah. Thank you for the posture check. Welcome, welcome everybody. And Aldo, thank you so much for the five gift subs. Ah, oh, it means a lot. Thank you so much. More people get emotes now. It's great. Also, Riaze, hello. Nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's been having a good start to the week so far. Also, Ryan, lovely to see you. Yeah, I, I, I remember like you joined one of my house flipper streams because I, I always giggle whenever you come into chat and you're just like, house flipper looks really weird today <laughs> when I'm not playing it. <laughs> It's just like, yeah, House Flipper just suddenly turned into a, a tactical um, RPG. Like, it's so amazing. <laughs> and Thermo, hello. Good, good, good greetings to you too. Welcome, welcome. 
Uh, you found me through House Flipper and I remain as your favorite House Flipper streamer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. I'm so glad. I have so much fun playing this game. I, it's just such a, a fun game to play. And Bob, thank you for the five gift subs as well. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I love it. I love it so much. Thank you. The the gift subs mean so much to me. I, I really do appreciate the support. Thank you. <laughs> it's great. All the, these gift subs are going to help me um, figure out what I'm going to fund for my birthday stream, which is going to be in um, about two weeks, two, two and a half weeks. I still haven't figured out what I'm doing for my birthday stream. And... It's in it's incredibly close now. So um, there will be things. I do have one very exciting thing that I'm excited to announce at my birthday stream. Look forward to it. Uh, September 8th, time to be confirmed. Probably long time. It'll be a very long stream. So like various times on the 8th or 9th, depending on time zones. <laughs> but uh, my actual birthday's on the 7th. But every year... I say to myself, I'm not going to do anything on my birthday. My birthday gift to myself is that I do nothing. That is that is how I spend my birthday. I don't do anything. <laughs> so I always do the birthday stream either the day before or the day after. And the day before is a Friday. So I don't want to get in the way of Family Friday because I just like playing Divinity. So I'm doing the Sunday. It's going to be a Sunday celebration birthday stream, which I'm excited for. But yes, I am a Virgo. I'm a Virgo sun and a Virgo moon, apparently. I, I looked it up at some point. And because there's so many people who are like, oh, yes, different sun, moon, rising signs. That they're, they're different for each one. And I was looking at mine and I was just like, I'm just very Virgo, apparently. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, it's coming into Virgo season. It's time. Time for the perfectionists to be perfect and amazing. I always laugh so much at the stereotype that uh, Virgo people are very, like, neat and organized. Because I, I am a very organized person. I like planning things. I'm not neat. I am incredibly messy. I, I like to plan things. I always make sure things are planned. But everything else is just completely disorganized. Except for my bookshelves. Like, all of my bookshelves are perfectly aligned in alphabetical order. Everything else is just kind of, um, good luck. <laughs> like, I look at my desk right now and I'm like, I've got several dice just lying on my desk. I've got a couple, like, uh, VTuber standees. I've got my medication. I've got a can of Monster. I've got a can of Sprite. I've got a bottle of water. I've got five pens and a makeup brush and a Lego brick separator in my pen holder. <laughs> Uh, I've got a notebook and my dictionary at the side. I've got my controller somewhere. Oh, there's my controller. There it is. But everything is like... It's kind of like organized chaos. Like I mostly know where things are if I need them. But if anyone looked at my desk, they would be horrified probably. It's a lot. Oh, I've got a little cabbage dog on my desk as well. <laughs> it's a little dog, but it's a cabbage. Yeah, and I've also got my, my Mimic chest, which is full of dice. And it's so funny because I have my Mimic chest full of dice. It is open at the moment with the dice, and I still have dice on my desk, like on the servers. <laughs> Even though I could just put them back in the chest, like it's right there. Like, I'll do it now. I can, I can put them away now. There, instantly like that, I just organize my desk a bit more. <laughs> And Sunken Shell, hello! Welcome, welcome! Welcome on in! Oh, the... The, the, the flip, the house flip. I love it. <laughs> house flip emotes. Welcome! Oh, uh, you like playing in Tetris with your stuff. Yeah, oh, when you can, like, perfectly organize things to a point where it's just... You can just slot everything in so nicely. I love doing that. That's what I do with drawers. Like, all of the drawers... I say all of the drawers. I have a single drawer in my bedroom at the moment as part of my desk. If I open my desk drawer, 
that is like perfectly organized. I have it with like little boxes, little things in the boxes. One of them has like Tiffany's cat treats. One of them has like paracetamol. It's very, very organized in the drawer. And then you look at the desk above it and there's just stuff dumped there. <laughs> My problem is if I can see a surface, I will put things on it. If I can't see the surface, like it's a drawer that I open and close, then I won't just dump stuff on it so it stays neat. <laughs> but whenever there is just like a flat surface, like I always just put things on it. Like my bookshelves, my books are really well organized, but I keep putting stuff like in front of the books because there's a little bit of space on the shelf. And I need to organize that. I need to tidy that up because it will look so much nicer if I do. <laughs> I just don't get around to it. But it's why I like games like House Flipper, because I can I can like make things look really nice and organized and then not worry about the clutter, because if I don't want there to be clutter, I simply don't add it. <laughs> also, Kuro Syllabus, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to House Flippy Times. I should probably actually click to start the game. But uh, I'm looking forward to playing this again, though, because if we go here to the latest updates, there's been a big update since I played the game last. Like, they've added a new update. It's a brand new region with a fresh downtown vibe. So there's a new job, there's a new apartment, 150 new items, uh, 30 new images for custom pictures. Uh, have, a, have a chat with your client after finishing a job. That sounds really sweet. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. You can tweak chromatic aberration. Um, I don't want that, thank you. <laughs> oh, and there's an unstuck button now as well. So if you manage to get yourself wedged in a wall, you can just click unstuck. And I presume, like, go back to the start of the level. That's really handy. And there's a new company for items, Fixed or Fixed D. Looks familiar. I don't know. We'll have to see what the items are. <laughs> But I'm really excited for this because there's loads of stuff that I haven't seen yet. Like, I know there was a new job added that I didn't do before as well. So yeah, they've added loads of new items. A bunch of summer stuff, I think. Oh, wait. Bee-themed kitchen accessories? I want a bee kitchen. I want a bee kitchen. That sounds sweet. I want that. <laughs> Yeah, House Flipper is the game where you can arrange anything without consequence. Yeah, do you want a floor stove? You can have that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still the kind of person where even playing a game like this, where there's so much freedom and so much stuff you can do, I still don't like to do, like, things that don't feel right. Like, I'm still the kind of person where it's like, okay, I don't want to put this here because I wouldn't. I wouldn't put this in a living room, so I won't. Like, I'm... <laughs> I'm still bound to the, the expectations of reality somehow. Anyway, let's continue. Did you know you can't throw a trash bag onto your neighbor's property? That's a good thing. Anyway, and now I turn the music volume up. Because for some reason the main menu music is very loud, so I have to turn it down. But there we go. Oh yeah, last thing I did last time. I added a bed to my bedroom. Right, so we've got my bedroom. This is going to be the bathroom. We did a little bit of the bathroom. I still need to decide on a... Like a, a shower and bath. To go like at this end. And then this will be my bedroom. We'll add more eventually. But then this is like the little balcony outside. My little garden area. And then if we go downstairs, this is the main front door to my house. I I love my house. I've got to say, I am I'm so proud of how my house is turning out. It feels like a very me home. And I love that. I'm, I, I, this is what I wanted. If I could make my own dream home, I would go for something that's like... Kind of like the minimalist, clean edges, lots of white, lots of brightness. But then add loads of color and comfy stuff inside to like soften the edges a bit, if you know what I mean. <laughs> like I'm a really big fan of a lot of stuff that's like the more modern style, but I don't like when it feels too stark, like when it feels 
like almost clinical that kind of feel i don't like it to feel like that i like it to be like comfy and cozy inside so that was my aim going into this i was like i want to go for like the cool aesthetics but then you come inside and it's just lots of pink and teal lots of comfy cushions comfy time got a, a can of leviathan energy drink <laughs> I love how it's turning out. Oh, I forgot I got a dance mat. I forgot I bought myself that. Nice. All right, then this is going to be like a storage uh, pantry area where I keep the food, maybe like the washing machine and stuff. This is the kitchen. This is the living room. And then this is my little streamer office. And this is like the one room that is like actually done at the moment. And I really like it. It's also interesting because this is very similar to my real desk, except like the opposite way around. Like if you imagine this, but like this part here, but then the bit that's here is like on this side instead. That's like how my desk is. Also, my desk isn't teal, it's just white. But, <laughs> but yeah, I tried to set it up as similarly to my own setup as possible. It's not perfect. I also don't have a, a really perfectly colored fidget spinner, unfortunately. I wish I did. Yeah, all this one also has more drawers than my desk. <laughs> He's like, yeah, Larry MTV, just welcome to my crib. Um, I've got a rubber duck. I've got a PS Vita. I've got this, this cool raccoon with a machine gun. Uh, <laughs> it's everything you need. I even have Tetris blocks. The little uh, Talos Principle thing. It's definitely Talos Principle. Trust me. <laughs> but uh, I really love how this has turned out. I really love it. Uh, why does the raccoon have a minigun? It's because it's from... Um, not League of Legends. What do they call it in this? Is it like Company of Champions? Champion. Yes, it's Company of Champions. Which is definitely not League of Legends. Uh, it's, it's one of the champions from that. <laughs> is that a mech? Yeah, it is. And a little robot. And uh, a crawfish. It really is just everything you need. I've also got a set of dice over here. It truly is my home. <laughs> Nothing in the drawers. I don't think I can be bothered to put things in all the drawers, but that's okay. But yeah, I, I really love it. I've even got a Nokia. <laughs> to demonstrate how youthful I am. How I'm very young and um, hip and fresh and um, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm on about. Uh, something skibbity toilet, whatever. <laughs> I also have a game of uh, Dungeons and Roaches. I haven't found a place to put that yet because I want to I want to get some shelves to put in the like the living area because I want to get some books and like a place to put the games and stuff but I haven't done that yet and I also need to sort out all of the storage in here too there's still a lot of work to be done but it's really nice because every room like has its purpose now I have a plan for every room and that's really nice but yeah, this is like my ideal house size as well, I think. I wouldn't want a mansion. I wouldn't want like a massive house with loads of rooms. I wouldn't know what to do with it. <laughs> I am like, so long as I have space to put all of the things I like, I'd be happy with just two or three rooms, honestly. Like, I don't want a big house. I'd feel intimidated by it. I'd be like, well, this is too much. Maybe like if I did win a huge amount of money and I could just get my own house I think what I'd actually do is I'd buy like like a little cul-de-sac like with a few houses and then I'd buy my mama house and then I'd buy myself a house right next door and then I'd also buy Xander a house if he wanted but it would depend on if he wanted to live with us <laughs> but it'd be like same community but different houses and then I'd make sure I have like guest rooms for people to come and visit and stay over. And then the rest of it would just be like streamer room, living room, bedroom, bathroom, kitchen. That's all I'd really need. That's all I'd really want. Oh, maybe no. No, if I did have my own house and I could do anything, I would make myself a recording studio. 
that's one thing I would do. I would I would have a, a dedicated room that I just fully like kit out and soundproof and make a recording studio. <laughs> but that would be all I needed. I wonder if I could do that here. I didn't even think about it. I bet I could make a recording studio somehow. I bet I could extend this somehow. Maybe like here. Cause I was gonna have this as like, like a little like food storage pantry area. If I extend this out further, I could like divide that into two rooms, have one connected to the streamer room, have a door that leads into a recording studio. Oh, I'm giving myself ideas now. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm planning expansions already, oh dear. <laughs> Much to think about. But yeah, I've, I figured what I want to do first is I want to check out the new jobs because I, I love the jobs in this because I think there's a job that I started and didn't finish as well. I don't actually remember. Was it this one? Yeah, I think I think I started this one and I didn't finish it because this was the small video game studio that's uh, expanding, hiring new people, needs a space for new employees. If you would like to test our game, feel free to use our VR sets. Did I do this? I don't remember now. It's been so long. It's been 200 years. I don't remember what I was doing. But either way, there are new jobs with the little icons now. Oh, okay. So we've got Crayfish Coast. We've got Pinnacove Suburbs. We've got Coral Root Forest. And now we've also got Old Pinnacove. Oh, there we go. Now you get to see the can. Yes. <laughs> Suzume, thank you for the hydrate. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? I will have a sip of my monster. And I shall have a big stretch. The set up straight. Ugh. Oh, I needed the stretch, actually. I haven't been... I haven't been stretching much. I woke up late today. But for a good reason, um, I actually got some sleep. <laughs> I actually managed to get some sleep. So, like, I woke up late, but not, like, super late. Like, it was, it was like, midday. So, I actually woke up feeling awake, which doesn't happen very often. It's really nice. It's really nice. But, yes, thank you. I'm, thank you so much for the cans, Barb, as well. I still haven't added them to my shelves yet, but they will be on the shelves by Friday's stream. They will be there. <laughs> but oh, I saw the new ones too with the the new original design. The one that is not uh, not monster. <laughs> but they're so cool. I love them. But yeah, I actually managed to get some sleep last night. However, it, it was a little bit... Uh, my brain did try to troll me last night. Um, I ended up waking up uh, I had a dream that I woke up, checked my phone, and all of my alarms had turned themselves off, and I was like 20 minutes before the stream was about to start. And so I was panicking. I was so stressed out in my dream. I was like, why did my alarm not go off? What is happening? Why is it doing this? Why did my alarm just not go off? I was panicking. I was stressed. And then I woke up. <laughs> and I checked my phone. And it was 5 a.m. <laughs> so I was just like there staring at my phone like, really? You're really going to do this to me, brain? You're really going to make me panic like that? And so then, because it was 5 a.m., I fell asleep again. <laughs> but then my, my alarms actually did go off. So I didn't have to worry about that. But it was just like the meanest dream. It felt so real. Like, checking my phone, it was, like, 1.40 p.m. Like, checking all of my alarms, all of them had been switched off, just panicking the whole time. And then I woke up at 5 a.m. And it's just like, why? Brain, why are you like this? But I am very glad I did manage to get some sleep, though. It was very nice. I've also been having the weirdest dreams lately. Like, 
some of them have been like not nice weird but then others have just been I wake up and I'm like this made no sense but I really enjoyed that dream <laughs> like I had one recently where I went to like this this center it was like a community center type thing except in my mind I was like this is definitely a cult and it was like a paid experience like you go in and you get you pay money and there's loads of people who look after you and cook you food and do things for you Except I walked in, I was like, I have no money. They were like, that's okay, we'll give you a few complimentary things anyway. And I was just treated really nicely. And then I said, okay, I have to go now, bye. And they all just waved me off with a smile and I left. And it was like, I don't get it, but it was a nice dream. <laughs> it was a really nice dream. I was like, wow. Imagine if that actually happened in real life. You could just walk into a place and be like, I can't afford your services. And they go, well, we'll give you the services anyway. Goodbye, take care. <laughs> Truly is a dream. But yeah, it, th that one, I feel like I had such a nice dream the night before last that my brain was like, well, we have to trick you now. How about making you think you're late when it's 5 a.m.? <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've been dreaming more recently. Like there have been a lot of times like where I've just not gotten much sleep and I kind of don't dream when that happens. But recently I have been having more dreams. And uh, some of them I don't remember. Like most of the time, if I wake up from a dream, I don't remember it, but I'll remember like the vibes. I'll remember the feel of the dream. Like I'll wake up and be like, oh, that dream was a bit weird. I'm not sure how I feel now. Or I'll wake up and be like, oh, I think I had a nice dream. I feel great, <laughs> but I don't remember the details. Except for that, that weird center. I am always going to remember that strange community center that may have been a cult. Like, <laughs> it's so, I, I remember it so vividly. It was so strange. I remember one part of it was uh, they were cooking me a meal and they served me the meal and it was in like a dustpan. You know, like a dustpan and brush. Like it had been cooked into the dustpan. And I was like, am I being like, hazed right now are they are they giving me rubbish because it's free and then i started having the food and it was amazing so that that was a bit strange but <laughs> but still like a really nice dream very very interesting i don't know how my brain comes up with the things it does but it's it's always interesting also brisket hello good morning welcome welcome I ate a dustpan. No, the food was like in the dustpan. It was like instead of a plate, it was served in the dustpan. But it was a clean one. <laughs> like it wasn't full of dust and bits or anything. It was a clean dustpan. But then it had like this cheesy bread baked into it. And then like I pulled the bread pieces out and it did like, you know, like when melted cheese does like the thing where you pull it and it just stretches. It was that. I was just pulling parts of this cheesy bread apart and just watching the cheese go, like, <laughs> stretching out. <laughs> but yeah, very strange dream. Very strange. That sounds like one of those fancy restaurants that's trying too hard. Yeah, like the ones where they'll they'll be like, oh yeah, we don't serve our meals on plates here. We serve them on um, a tiles that you'd use to tile a wall instead. <laughs> It, it, it did feel like that, but I was the only one who was served it in a dustpan. I guess because I was like the free one in my dream. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It was still nice. It was still a nice time. Or oh, oiled sheets. Oh, I can't even imagine that. Ooh, so many interesting things. Anyway, I see that this job is called Allergies Aren't a Joke, and I'm immediately like, <laughs> I need to help these people out. I gotta help them. I have been suffering a lot with allergies recently. Whenever it gets to like summertime and all of the plants are starting to shed their pollen, I suffer so badly. I have really bad hay fever. Like whenever I go outside in like spring summertime, like my nose is blocked, my throat is blocked, my eyes start watering. It's it's not a fun time. I don't I don't react well to touching grass. <laughs> But uh, recently as well, because of it being so warm, Tiffany keeps shedding all of her winter fur. So th there's just loads of clumps of cat fur around the house. And that doesn't help me too, because I am mildly allergic to cat fur, despite being a cat girl. 
the girl part takes over. It makes me very glad that I have limited fur. <laughs> But yeah, it does mean I've been I've been super sniffly recently. I've just been adding antihistamines to my my morning medication. Like when I wake up and take my meds, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have an antihistamine as well, preemptively, because I know I'm gonna need it. But yeah, oh, uh, not too oiled. But there was a restaurant that served food on paper sheets instead of plates. Wait, I I feel like that would just disintegrate though, right? I wouldn't want that. I'd feel like I was on a time limit to finish my food before my plate disintegrates. <laughs> Although I guess it's like similar to like paper plates and stuff. It's probably treated in a way that it wouldn't disintegrate. But yeah, allergies do suck. I'm I'm lucky that I don't have any like deathly allergies, but I have a lot of like intolerances. A lot of stuff that just makes me feel bad. Like, I'm, I'm not at any risk of dying, but I feel like death. <laughs> but yeah, this job is... Uh, Hi there. I'm preparing for my debut stand-up comedy show at Pinnacove Community Centre. Unfortunately, it turns out I'm allergic to pollen and dust, and it gets really bad in the spring. I feel you, Simon. Simon Whitman, I feel you. <laughs> I feel the pain. My doctor recommended getting rid of carpets, curtains, and everything else that can collect dust. So my artsy apartment needs to become more sterile. I mean, like, minimal decor and simple furnishing. Also, please take care of my rundown bathroom and kitchen. My ex used to say that their state is an unfunny joke. <laughs> Best regards, Simon W. I think we can help Simon out. I'm just... wondering now... Let's go back. I feel like I may have started this, but not finished it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click... No, it says begin. It would say resume, right? I think. Oh, and there's a job here as well. In the forest from Benedict Bear. Hello? We found a lost child in the forest. I see. Hello? Once upon a time, a little girl wandered into a small hut in the forest. Just kidding, no need to alert child services. But our son's close friend is going to stay with us for the whole summer, and my wife and I think we need to prepare the house for double the trouble. Yeah, that's probably a good plan. Starting with finally fixing the adult's bedroom, since the kids are big enough to sleep on their own. With our room moved downstairs, there should also be plenty of space left for more storage furniture in both rooms. We were also thinking about expanding the living room, so there's enough space for everyone at the table. This will require walling off a part of the porch, which is why we choose, chose to contact a specialist. We hope you can make it fit the rest of the house. Cheers, B-Bear. I like that he signs his name as B-Bear. <laughs> That's great. So there's three jobs that I haven't done then. I really don't know if I did this one or not. I don't know, I may not have. I may have just looked at it, but not started it. Maybe I did finish the job last time. I don't remember. And sweet note, hello! Good morning! How am I? I'm doing pretty well. I actually managed to get some sleep last night, so I am actually functioning. But I'm still really sleepy. I think... I don't know if I'm, like, genuinely sleepy. Like, the lack of sleep is catching up to me, and I'm gonna need, like, five, di five nights of loads of sleep to catch up. Or if I'm just still waking up and I'm gonna wake up more and feel fine. We will see. We'll see how it goes. But uh, welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well too. Happy Wednesday. I forgot which day it was. Oops. <laughs> but uh, be bear or be square. I'll be there. Oh, uh, you're also super sleepy. Oh, good morning. <laughs> yeah, I woke up late today, but it was because I was actually managing to sleep. So, I, w I was like, if I'm actually getting the sleep, I'm going to take advantage of it and actually, like, keep sleeping because I don't know, I don't get this opportunity very often. <laughs> Sorry for keeping me late yesterday. Oh, you didn't, though. That was, like, the earliest night I've gone to bed in a while and I actually managed to get to sleep, so... <laughs> it was good. It was nice. I think it was nice, like, doing things until I got to the point of, like, okay, I should go to bed now. And then actually going to bed at that point instead of waiting, stay, staying awake longer, <laughs> waiting up longer. 
but yeah, I I got like I kept waking up. I had like really bitty sleep, but I got a lot of sleep. So I think it it kind of evens out in the end. Like I've I've been getting like an average of like three or four hours of sleep a night for the past very long time. So last night I was just like, if I'm gonna keep sleeping, I am taking advantage of this. I'm just gonna keep doing it. Also, Zarok, thank you for the hydrate. I will have a sip of my drink. Wake me up even more, get more energy juice. But uh, welcome, welcome. Good evening. Uh, you were super tired like an hour and a half ago, napped for five minutes and feel ready to stay up until 5 a.m. again. That's something that always happens to me too. I will have nights where I feel like I can't stay awake. I'll just be like, I'm so tired. I can't stay awake. I know it's only 9 p.m. I'm going to bed now. I'm exhausted. I can't keep my eyes open. And then I'll wake up at midnight and I'll be wide awake and I'll be like, well, I guess I'm not sleeping tonight. <laughs> it's so painful. I feel like it's the worst when like, I'm so tired that I'm convinced I will sleep through the night. And then I still just wake up after a couple of hours and it's like, okay, all right, never mind. You win this time, brain. Ah, oh, your brain was weird because it kept thinking of the screenshots and can so you had to do it before going to bed. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you didn't have to do it immediately, but I know like what it's like when your brain gets fixated on something. Because then if you keep thinking about something you have to do, like your brain won't switch off. At least, at least it's what happens with me. <laughs> it's happened to me before too, where I've remembered something I have to do right before I go to bed. I'll be lying in bed for a while and I'll be like, I'm not going to sleep until I do this thing. I'm not going to sleep. So I get up and do it. And then at that point, I've woken myself up enough that I don't feel tired enough for bed. <laughs> oh, fell asleep with the light on, woke up with the light off because your mother opened the door and saw it on. Oh, that's nice. My mom does that with me too. It's very sweet. Sometimes if I leave my light on, like I'll, I'll wake up and it's been turned off. She's turned it off for me. <laughs> But I feel like that's more because she doesn't want to waste the electric, which which is fair, which is very fair. But uh, I, I can sleep with the lights on. Light doesn't really affect me so much. But yeah, anyway, this this job is we're expanding. Hello, I'm Matt from Volcano District. We're a small video game studio lucky enough to make a hit game called Floor is Lava. It was a big success, so we are expanding, hiring new people and getting more gear. We need a space for new employees. I think that our attic will be perfect for that. And I'd like to apologize for the mess. We had a little party on the release day. <laughs> if you'd like to test our game, feel free to use our VR sets. They're lying around the office. Have fun. Kind regards, Matt Coppola. I love the thought of doing this kind of collaboration with another game. I think it's a really sweet way of, of doing it, of doing a kind of crossover thing. Right, so the jobs we have are de allergying the place, um, prepare for trouble, make it double, and floor is lava. I think I'm going to start with the, the floor is lava one, though. We're going to expand the, the game studio. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, I, I guess I didn't. I've done something in a similar house to this. Yeah, I haven't done the Volcano District job yet. Let's do this then! Let's expand the studio for the, the Floor is Lava team. Oh, you'd be screwed if you couldn't sleep with the lights on because there's a very high possibility of being awake when the sun rises. Yeah, it's the same with me as well. Oh, you can't sleep if there's light. That's why you don't get much sleep in summer, but you catch up in winter. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, the light doesn't tend to affect me. I can I can sleep when it's super bright. But I, I do prefer the dark. Right, let's start with the bit of cleaning. It's time for me to remember how to play the game. How do I do my spidey sense? Is it that? It's that one. Okay. Spidey senses. Oh, look at this, though! Floor is lava! Ooh. 
oh, it's like a, a parkour, don't touch the floor kind of game. I would be terrible at this. This is the kind of game that I love to watch other people play. I would hate to play it myself. <laughs> oh, they left pizza. That's so nice of them. They left me a slice. Ooh, hold on. Let's get the... Let's get rid of this. Let's get this cleaned up. Oh, they left the VR headset here, though. Nice. Alright, let's throw all this away. Mind you, when they said they threw a little party to celebrate, I thought it was going to be worse than this. Like, this isn't that bad. <laughs> like, <laughs> I guess it's more like gamer party. Sit and play video games and eat pizza. I mean, that's my kind of party, honestly. Yeah, this isn't too bad. This is very reasonable when they're like, I'm so sorry, we had a party, it might be messy. Yeah, oh, I really love winter, though. I love winter. Like, I always overheat so easily. So I really like when it gets really cold, because then I can actually snuggle up without worrying about getting too warm. Because otherwise, I, I end up, like, feeling too warm. And then I have to remove all the layers and stuff. <laughs> uh, I've played a little to the left, right? Yes, I have. I've played uh, the base game. I haven't played the DLC yet. I do want to do that at some point because I have one of them. I think I was waiting for there to be more DLC to make like a whole stream out of it. But uh, I haven't played the DLC stuff yet, but I have played the base game and I love that game. It's my kind of game. It's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a, not a super long game. It's quite short, but I had a really nice time with it. I enjoyed it. <laughs> it all depends on the kind of stuff you like. It's like figuring out the patterns and how to organize things and uh, tempted to get it just to scratch the little minor jigsaw itch oh if that's what you want for like the organizing and putting things in the right place aspect I would fully recommend it for that because it's really nice too because for each level well not not for every single one but for most of the levels there are multiple ways to solve it like there's not just one way to solve it like for example if you've got a bunch of um a bunch of pens in different colors then you can like organize them by how much ink is in the pen going from most to least or you can organize them from like the color of the pen going through like the rainbow spectrum or you can do it by like one pen is shorter and then there's taller pens and do it in that order like there's there's different ways of doing it and it's really nice figuring all of those out and sorting them in each of the different ways it's really fun Aw, oh, heading off, Aldo. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you so much for the gift subs again. I really appreciate it. But uh, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. I was going to say rest of your day. It's late for you, isn't it? <laughs> I hope you rest well. I hope you have a good sleep. Thank you for stopping in. I'm always glad when you're able to catch the streams because I know it's not like the best time zone. <laughs> but I hope you rest well. Athena Belladonna, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Welcome on in. Hope you enjoy your time here. Welcome to Flippy Times. How's it going? Happy Wednesday. Also, Jack, welcome in. How's it going? How's Flipper Leary? I'm finally back after several months. <laughs> How's life today? Life's going okay, I think. I managed to get sleep, so I feel powerful. <laughs> but uh, I'm... I'm still like a little bit out of sorts, I think. I'm, I've gone for so long without having decent sleep that like having a couple of good nights of sleep feels really good, but I still don't think it's enough to, to catch up. <laughs> like I'm running on a sleep deficit at the moment. So it's still gonna take a while to catch up, but I, I'm actually getting sleep now. So I, I'm very happy about that. Right, okay, I've cleaned up everything in here. This is all as it should be. Cleaned everything in here, yes. Nothing in here. Oh, okay. This is more of the party, I guess. 
Oh, they have a really nice little setup here. I like this. Nice. Right, let's let's get rid of all this leftover pizza that's been left out. Right, is there any more rubbish for the bag? I don't think there is. All right, let's let's clean this up now. Oh, well, this is concerning. You went through the payment process and it hasn't appeared in your library. Oh, no. I've oh, never seen Steam have a delay, but it's there now. Oh, I'm glad it showed up eventually. Always the worrying moment when something doesn't happen instantly. <laughs> I feel like we've gotten so used to just instant processing that it gets so worrying when it doesn't happen. It's like, well, I, the money's come through. Where is the thing? Oh, do, do I need to pick that up? There we go. Leftover cables. I hope they didn't need these for anything. Oh, that doesn't look nice. What else is that? There's just a random spoon. Oh, it's a teaspoon. Never mind. There's a there's a mug there. I was like, why is there a spoon on the desk? That makes sense. All right. What else is in here? Okay. Okay. I've cleaned up in here then. Oh, it didn't show up and you immediately went to purchase history to see if you somehow gifted it or something. Oh, it... I, I don't think I've ever accidentally gifted something on Steam. But I could see myself doing it at some point, honestly. But yeah, it's... I, I don't think I've ever had a delay buying something on Steam. I've had delays with other things. But Steam's always been pretty instant for me. So yeah, I would also be worried in that situation. <laughs> I'm glad it went through though. It is a really, it's a really enjoyable game to play a little to the left. Oh, what does that say? Great work. Meeting at 9.30 and Among Us. Of course there's Among Us. It's a game studio. Wait, I can interact. <gasps> it's an actual mini game. I didn't realize there was an actual mini game. It said, like, we left the VR headsets around. I thought that was, like, a a flavor thing. I didn't realize there was an actual mini game. Oh, I'm going to be terrible at this. Okay, I'm going to try the easy one just to see what it's like. I, it's not going to go well. <laughs> this isn't going to go well. I'll still try it. Okay. Whoop. I'm not going fast. I'm not gonna run. I'm too scared. Is that it? No, that's a checkpoint, okay. Oop. 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 Ah! Why am I doing this? Oop. Oop. You down? <gasps> okay, checkpoint. We've got rocks. There's a rubber duck! Use. Nice. That was worth it. Oh, little platforms. I'm so, I, I fell. I'm so bad at platforming. <laughs> I second guess myself too much. Okay, okay, I'm doing it. I'm going, I'm doing it. I'm doing the platforming. I did it! I did it at 107. That's that's not a great time, but I, I, I did it. I did it. <laughs> it's so hard because like the the keyboard I've got at the moment, my space bar is really loose. So every time I press space, it's like it's really like loud and clicky and weird, and it feels wobbly and horrible. But uh, that's not going to be a problem for long because uh, I'm actually. I'm going to be getting a new keyboard soon. I actually I actually commissioned my good friend Daifuku to um, custom build a keyboard for me. And I am so excited about that because the keyboards they make are so lovely. They are so nice. They they like sound so good. They're like 
they go through all of the parts to make sure everything is perfect. Like, I was talking with them for so long trying to figure out, like, okay, so how do you want it to feel? What do you want it to sound like? What do you think of these keycaps? What do you think of this board? Like, the, the amount of effort and work they put into it, I, I felt so special. And it's like, it makes it really feel like it's going to be my keyboard. Like, it's my board. And I'm, I'm so excited. It's uh, currently um, in the ether of being shipped to my house. It is in shipment at the moment. <laughs> But uh, hold on, let me see what the tracking says. Because I remember checking the tracking and it was like the, the vaguest window of when it's going to arrive. <laughs> Where is it? Let me check. Uh, tracking. Um, the delivery time is estimated between 5 and 22 business days. <laughs> so a very small window. A very, very small window. So it's like it could arrive this week it could arrive middle of next month <laughs> we have no idea <laughs> but i'm excited for it it is it has departed the facility so i'm i'm looking forward to that i'm really excited to have it cuz i've wanted like a really nice keyboard for a while cuz i've never like really splashed out on a, a nice keyboard like i've bought keycaps and stuff before and i've gotten keycaps given to me which i adore but the keyboard itself is like, it's it has been good. But it's getting to the point now where like, I don't know how to customize it, how to mod it, how to make it better. And honestly, I trust Daifuku with my life. I probably shouldn't because they keep making me play Apex Legends, but I still trust them with my life. <laughs> so I'm, I'm really excited for the keyboard. I'm excited. I'm hoping it'll all arrive before my birthday because that'll be really exciting. I think it should be. I think it should be here in time for my birthday. But we'll see. But anyway, as soon as that arrives, I'm going to be showing that off. It's going to be hand cam stream time. It's going to be like, hey, check this out. So I'm, I'm very excited. It'll be good. But until then, I've got loud spacebar. Loud wobbly spacebar. It's okay. Right. Okay, another bathroom. They've got really nice bathroom setups here. Right. Oh, they've got a green screen room. Oh, someone left some footprints. How could you do that? On the green screen. How dare they? Right. Anyway, I'm ready for my close up. <laughs> Why do they just leave cables lying around? Like, let me get rid of that. Let me get rid of this, these little pizza ends. You know what they need? They need more bins. They need actual bins in this room so they don't just leave the pizza out. There is not a dustbin in here. There is not a dustbin in this room. So that's why things are just being left, I guess. <laughs> Maybe I can help them with that. Also, ooh, VR. Great work. Oh, I wonder if this is level design. It might be level design. Let's clean that off for them. They don't need that. <laughs> Great work. <gasps> Dare to leap or face the heat. That's a good tagline. Right, anyway, let's clean up this mess. Let's clean up the crisps. It's like you're meant to eat the crisps, not throw them on the floor. <laughs> it's okay, right. Anything else in here? Nope, we've cleaned up in here. Okay. They've got like a really nice work environment here though. This is such a nice office. I love this. Right, oh, and this is the attic. This is where we're going to be expanding. This is where the expanding's happening. Also, they have so many old parts here. Eh, leave that there. Boom. 
can clear this up quite easily. Oh, there's a little blackboard here. That's nice. Let's give this a clean. This should be quite nice to renovate. I think we can make this a nice, nice office area. I wonder if they want to keep these uh, broken things or if I have to sell them. I may have to sell them. What am I selling? Okay, we're selling that. Yeah, we are selling the old parts. Okay. So now it is unpacking boxes and buying new things. So I think we're going to start with the new things because I, I feel like the stuff in the box is going to be stuff that needs to be put on tables and stuff. Okay, so let me let me have a look at what we're doing before I start randomly putting things down. We're gonna have four desks, four computers, oh, eight computers, double monitors, four chairs, two plant pots. Oh, we're gonna have a sofa and TV. Where, sh where should the sofa and TV go? Hmm. Maybe the sofa and TV can go like, oh, maybe, oh, actually, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. One, two, three, four. Sofa in the middle. That's my idea. You go down there. And then this will be like comfy living area. I don't know if these will be too smushed together, though, actually. Hmm. Maybe the four can go here? Hmm. I don't know what I want to do with these. Hmm. Right, because it's like, if I do this... And this, that's not going to be good because if you want to try and like roll your chair back, you're going to be hitting the other person. I don't think this is enough space. I don't think that's a good plan. It would be nice if it was like a tiny bit bigger. I think it would work. I don't think it works like that. Also, Cam, hello! Flippin' heck, it's House Flipper. It is indeed. How's it going? How are you doing? Nice to see you. I, I can't believe I missed your, your VTuber debut, but I, I watched the VOD afterwards and it's so nice. It's so nice. I'm so glad you're a VTuber now. Welcome. Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate as well, Bob. Let me have a sip of my drink. Have a sippy. Oh, you're so happy. I'm so happy. And I'm so happy you're so happy. <laughs> this is so exciting. It's so nice. I, I really love like every time someone I know becomes a VTuber, I kind of just have this little like cartoon villain moment of like me rubbing my hands going, yes, yes, I got another one. <laughs> oh, welcome to the money sinker. Money sink is right. You just got a leap motion today. Oh, heck yes. It's hand time. <laughs> it is moving time. That's so exciting. I'm so glad. Oh, I would, I would love to have like full 3D model, 3D tracking at some point. But uh, I, I'd, I'd rather like get my current model fully rigged before I do that. Because, like, I, I love this model. I love it so much. I just need to finish the re-rig. I need to finish the re-rig. But it's it's getting there, slowly but surely. See, the main problem is the, the fact that I, um, I'm broke and stubborn. So I have no money, so I'm like, well, I can do it myself. And then I proceed to not do it myself. Teehee. <laughs> I'm not sure how I want to do this. How do I want to lay out this area? This, it's such a weird area to have like four desks and a sofa. If only I knew a good 3D model rigger that would do it for free. <laughs> oh, I appreciate you so much, Bob. 
it's just like the thing is I'm I'm like so attached to my current model that like I think if I did have like a full planning to use it a lot 3D model I'd want it to be like a, a style match situation I'd want it to be like as identical to this as possible <laughs> but I also love the thought of having like a low poly model like I like if you think of like the the PlayStation 1 graphics and stuff I would love like that kind of low poly model I think that would be so much fun at some point oh, you're sleepy too though but soon you may be the house flipper <gasps> wait oh my goodness that's so fast so talking about moving to seeing a place to potentially moving in in less than a week. Oh, wow. That is that is so cool if that works out. Like if that all works out in your favor and like you manage to do that. But that is also a lot of stress, huh? Wow. Good luck. Good luck with everything. Oh, I want a low poly model so bad. It would be so good. It would be so good. Oh, you know, you'll get better at 3D modeling. You're, you're already really good at 3D modeling, though. You're already so good. Hee <laughs> hee. I really don't know what I'm doing with these desks. It's mostly the fact, like, if I didn't have the chair, I would literally go, like, desk, 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 desk. And that would be fine. But with the sofa, too? What do you want me to... Oh, do I do it, like, here? Maybe I could just put it right here. It could work, I guess. Like that? Maybe? Kind of? Maybe. I suppose that kind of works. I I don't know. I don't know what I think about this. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the desk, like, lined up with this wall here. Like that. And then there'll be a chair there. There'll be a chair here. Chair for that one, and that one already has a chair. Hmm. I might just do this, like, in the middle of this wall, like that. And the same on this side, too. Have it in the middle of the wall. If I move the chair first. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Oh, glad I think that. But hair is so hard. It really is. And I feel like my hair is even harder too for 3D modeling because <laughs> because it's so much easier if you have like a fringe, if you have bangs. And I'm here like, no, I've got my forehead out on display here. You see the hairline. It makes it so much more awkward. <laughs> but it's just my hair. I can't help it. All right, let's get the monitors. Right. It's like there. No, I need to move it over a bit more. Go like there. And there. At the back. Like that, maybe. Like that? It's not fully central, but I don't care enough. <laughs> I do not care. Maybe like that and that. It's, it, it's close enough. We'll just pretend it's central. We'll pretend. It's definitely central and aligned. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We got it. All right, keyboards. You each get a keyboard. Oh my goodness. Angles. There, keyboard. 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 It's fine. They can move them around if they don't like where I put them. <laughs> yeah, 
It does. Oh, remade my hair five times. Oh, you did a really good job with it, though. I really appreciate it. But yeah, I'm, I, I got the awkward hairstyle. It's like, I remember, like, at one point, I, I downloaded uh, Vroid Studio because I was like, oh, I wonder if I can make myself a little 3D model of me. And I just got so frustrated with the hair that I was like, I'm, no. <laughs> I simply refuse. Uh, you're sketching up ideas for what you want your actual model to look like, and you're just like, is this even going to be possible? Well, there's one way to find out, right? <laughs> Give it a try. Like, if it's not possible, then at least you tried, right? <laughs> All right, so have a plant pot there. Plant pot there. Yes. Plant. I may need to move it away from the wall a little bit. Plant. I can finish the job now. No, I can't. I'm not done. I can't finish the job now. I haven't finished. Stop it, game. That'll do. That's nice. Oh, I can't. That's a. This is a bit of a low TV to have like here. I, I'm thinking it does want me to put the sofa in like one of these alcoves because of like the positioning of like the walls and where the TV would be. But then I'm like, where do I put the other desk? In the middle, maybe. 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 It might be okay. I think, like, so long as everyone is just fine. Everyone's just aware of the space and what they're doing. It should be okay, I think. I'll also move the plant so it's not right in front of the TV. <laughs> Oopsie. There we go. Yeah, that works. Yeah, look at that. Got a nice little TV corner. We've got the three desks there and then one desk there. Oh, they, they probably need their PCs as well. That is probably a good addition, maybe. Where are you going? Oh, I think I put the, the chair in too much. Hmm. Like that. There we go. That works. Man, any of these people decide to be a streamer, it's going to be hell with all the other people talking. This is an office. This is a game development office. If anyone starts streaming in the office, then that's their own silly fault, I think. But... <laughs> Can you imagine, like, if you're working as part of, like, a game dev studio and then someone starts just going, uh, Hey, chat, how's it going? We're gonna play some Valo today. What is up? And you're just trying your hardest to get your work done. <laughs> hey, you can stream the process. Uh, yeah, just turn your mic off. <laughs> that could work, though, actually. Doing, like, a, a silent work stream? Just like no mic uh, progress kind of stream. I like those kind of streams. There's a few people I know who do like work streams where it's just like uh, push to talk or like no mic on. And it's like just a really comfy environment to work in. <laughs> this code is so cooked, chat. <laughs> just be like, hey, what is up, chat? Today I'm breaking NDA just for you. <laughs> Oh, I need to put shelves and filing cabinets too. Oh, I didn't I didn't plan this far ahead. Where are the filing cabinets gonna go? Oh, maybe like, oh, one can go there. One can go there, yeah. And then these ones, um, one cannot go there because it doesn't fit, but it can go where I put that box of things to unpack have one here and hmm. maybe I put them both together and move the plant yeah something like that kind of works maybe 
<laughs> Chat, you see here, it says there's an error on line 12849, but in reality, the problem is on line 833471 because of the function I'm calling on line 12848. <laughs> you know, you've gone full streamer brain when you can't start calling HR mods. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just get called into HR, you sit down at the desk and you just like ban appeal. <laughs> Oh, it's the headset. Okay. Headset. Headset. For testing. Right, we need our posters. Where are the posters gonna go? Will it count if I put it on the wall like here? Will it count as in this room? Oh, it does. Okay. Brilliant. Brilliant. We can have the posters here. Oh, fantastic. And ceiling lamps. How many? Two. Two ceiling lamps. I guess just on the beams. Seems like the most logical place to put them. Yeah. And three shelves. Wall shelves. Where are these going? Um, <laughs> um, you know what? I give up. I'm doing this. Perfect. Perfect. Perfection. Nailed it. Flawless. Wait, what did I call them? Beams? Yeah, uh, ceiling beams. B-E-A-M-S. It's, it's how we refer to them here, at least. Like support beams. These kind of like... Sideways pillars? Beams. Which I think is quite a cute name for them, actually. You learned something today! Yes! I'm glad I could teach you. Clearly the best place is above the sofa. <laughs> wait, actually, that's so terrible. It makes me want to do it. <laughs> like that. Oh, wait, I could do one like here, though. Like, I'll move the plants to here. We could have one like here. And then it becomes something you can put your drink on when you're sat on the sofa. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Like that. Yeah, I think that works, actually. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Place to put your drink. And then I think the last one can just stay here. I can maybe go on the wall. Oh, wait, 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 ooh. You know what? I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna put one of the VR headsets on it. It's like a little display. Headset display, there we go. <laughs> I quite like this. I think I did a decent job with this. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with the plants. Maybe one can go there. The plants are kind of just put in the place. But yeah, I think that works. Yeah, a nice office expansion. Let's compare it in here. Yeah. Yeah, I think I did a decent job. Nice. Right, let's throw this away and then I will leave. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And with that, I have finished the job. And we got 10K, yes. Oh wait, I just realized. I think last time I played, uh, I stopped working on my own house because I ran out of money. <laughs> Look at that, I cleaned it up so nicely. Before, after. Before, after. These aren't like huge changes, I just cleaned it. But here, before, after. Isn't, oh, isn't that so much nicer? <laughs> I'm happy with that one. Oh, hello. Hi, Matt. Hello, what's my score? Three stars, of course. Thanks for a great service. 
Oh, this is so nice. Write down your number for when we expand even more in the future. Yes. Hope so. I'm up to any challenge. That's really sweet. I love this little, like, text message after the job. That's a really nice addition. Because <laughs> last time I played, that wasn't part of it. That's one of the updates that have been added. So that's really nice. But yeah, if we look at my wallet, I have 16,000 and I got 10,000 from that job. So uh, my money was running very low. And I think that's why I was like, yeah, I need to do more jobs. I need to actually earn some money. Right, let's do another job then. What do we got? Should we... Yeah, let's do this one. Let's try and help Simon Whitman with the, the horrible allergy situation. Let's rip up all the carpets. <laughs> See how this goes. Did you know you can connect the weight bench to the gym ladder? That's great to know. I don't know how gym equipment works. <laughs> Stand up in Pinnacove! First of August! Oh no, we missed it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Get ready for a show like nothing before. A young and talented comedian, Simon Whitman, with his debut stand-up material, Sun Jokes. <laughs> oh, is that like the opposite of dad jokes? I love that. The origins of Pinnacove, admission free. I'm threatening you with a good time. Oh, that's very sweet. Like this is this is his apartment and he's got like the poster for his his headlining show. That's very sweet. Right, let's start by cleaning up this mess. Oh, this is not nice. Just left it outside the th the trash disposal when it's right here. Literally just like on the floor when the thing is literally right here. Why? It's there. It's right there. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. I'll just add the cleaning fee on. <laughs> right, so I'm guessing this is the place. Let's straighten that out. <gasps> okay, here he is. Hi. Hello. It's Simon Whitman. Thanks for helping with my dust wars. <laughs> my artistic place is just perfect for allergies. Ooh. Although maybe we could keep one brick wall? You know, like those often seen in comedy clubs. <laughs> oh, by the way, I have a joke for oh, you. Yes? Why did the ex-boyfriend steal his girlfriend's radiator? Because she told him she needed more space. <laughs> This sounds familiar. I am remembering the house with the basement full of radiators. This sounds familiar. Um, a, a friend of mine did that a few years ago. <laughs> sure, His a friend. friend had to hire a specialist to install a new radiator and clean up all the yes. mess he made. Oh, want to hear a construction joke? Yes, I'm going to tell a joke. It's my turn. Well, I didn't expect to hear a joke from you, yeah. but it seems today's my lucky day. Uh, let's hear it. Uh... <laughs> Hold on, I'm working on it. <laughs> I love all of these. I love, I need to build up the punchline. Hold on, I'm working on it. I'm open to construction criticism. I, I need to do the working on it one. I love that one. Hold on, I'm working on it. That's a really good joke. Thank you. You have a flair for this. I'm just We've so been talking funny. for a minute and you've already made me laugh. <laughs> anyway, thanks for taking care of my dusty apartment. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm off to prove my career is not a joke. I have a good you. one. I believe in you, Simon. Don't worry, I'll handle this. You, you handle the jokes. Oh, there's so many tissues around too. It's really just like, yeah, you can, you can, you can tell he's struggling with the allergies. Yeah, yeah. House Flipper One, there was a job to change a radiator, but House Flipper Two has been like building up on that as well, because there's like the one cabin where you go down and there's just like a room full of radiators. 
It's like the radiator thief has just been taking them. I love that it's become like an ongoing thing. It's just like, oh yeah, just every now and then there'll just be a situation where it's just like, oh yeah, and my radiator's gone missing for some reason. <laughs> Always the radiators. See, I'm just here like, if anyone stole my radiator, I would be completely fine with that. Because I, I never turn mine on. Like, I have a radiator in my bedroom. It's never on. I just do not turn it on because I'm... I never get cold to the point where I would need more heat. So it's it's just there. It's just there, like sticking out of the wall being annoying. <laughs> uh, what I've actually ended up doing at the moment is uh, with my radiator. It's, it's like on the other side of my bed, but it's like quite a wide radiator and it's got like a little bit on the top. So I've, I've kind of used it as a shelf. It's a little shelf and I put my plushies along it. <laughs> She's just like, it's a good job, I do never turn it on, because otherwise those plushies would, um, probably melt, uh, or set fire. But it's, it's just like a glorified shelf for me. Oh, let's get those petals up. Wait, we're probably just gonna get rid of this plant, right? Yeah, we're getting rid of the plant. Why do you have so many plants if you're allergic to pollen? I mean, they do look nice, but get get artificial ones. It's okay. Get rid of the curtains. Get rid of the newspaper. What else are we getting rid of? That. 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 Shoe. Let's put the shoes back. <laughs> can go in here oh they've got a little bear oh no it's the uh, the beaver they got the little beaver on them they're cute very cute right i think i'm getting rid of that too yes oh no i'm getting rid of these oopsie uh i guess they're just on the floor <laughs> all right what else am i getting rid of it's a plastic chair oh it's, it's there a uh, bunch of newspapers, whatever that is, whatever that is. That. Shelf. Oh, the newspaper's on the floor. There we go. Nice. Yeah, we'll get this place completely allergen free, I believe. Get these plants out of here. Yeah, rem you remember me telling you that when I placed the dolls. Yeah, because I sent you a photo of where I'd put the dolls you made me. And I remember you being so worried. You were just like, is that on a radiator? Please be careful. They might set fire because they're made of yarn. And I was like, don't worry. That radiator is purely for decoration. <laughs> like, if we did not rent this place, I would probably just get rid of it, honestly. I, I never use the radiator. Oh, oh, those are plants. Never mind. Plants and rocks. Okay. There's so much stuff in here. What are we selling? That, 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 all of it, all of this. Let's get rid of all of it. Yeah. You don't need that. You don't need that. You don't need that. You don't need that. You might need your bike. I suppose. Yeah, you can keep the bicycle. <laughs> Get rid of those. Give this a clean. What else needs cleaning here? Give that a clean. Oh. 
all on the floor here. Yep. Give that a scrub. Oop. Oh. Okay. Right, I think that, yeah, that's all the rubbish. Oh, we've got to sell, oh, these, the planks of wood. Oh, oh, there wasn't even a wall. It was just being boarded up. Just, just a hole being boarded up. I see. Don't worry, we can fix that. We can sort that out. I, you, if you want a summertime canonical Leary stand, you put me on top of the radiator in the winter so that in the summer you have melted Leary. No, don't melt the standees. Don't melt the standees. They're too cute for that. But also it would be accurate. I do melt. Also, Maya, hello. Welcome. Figured you'd pop in since you just so happen to be awake right now. Oh, I'm glad you could make it. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Flippy Times. I am having a casual, chill Flippy stream today. Doing some jobs so that I can earn money to renovate my own home. Oh, there are so many plants. Oh, are we getting rid of the fish? I like that. Okay. 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 Okay, I guess we're just replacing almost everything in here. <laughs> that say? Write three jokes while sitting here. Oh, like on the toilet. The thinking spot. That makes sense. We'll keep that note. <laughs> right, so now let's get these petals up. Oh, seriously, you've been sleeping in later and later recently. Oh no! Oh, I hope you can get your sleep schedule back on track soon. It's so painful when it starts just skewing slightly in one direction and you can't fix it. But I hope you're doing well. Thank you for stopping in. Glad you could make it. I really love the house flipper streams because it's, it's just such a relaxing game to play and just talk about any random stuff. Let's clean the window. It's been a while since I cleaned a window in this, actually. Nice. And this one. Whoop, whoop. There we go. Lovely. Right, what else needs to be done in here? Oh yeah, building the wall. That's probably... That's probably the most important part. Oh, we're just doing the whole wall? gonna get in where's the door gonna go hmm you know what it's fine I'll just build the wall first and then we'll figure it out oh look how fast I can build walls now so nice yeah there we go okay I need to do a lot of painting in this room painting surface finishes Oh, I'm buying a workbench. And a cork board. Right, let's start by cleaning in here because I think there's still... Yeah, I need to sell like everything in the kitchen. We're replacing all of this. We're getting a brand new kitchen. Oh, we're keeping this stuff though, I guess that yeah uh, selling oh the bin there we go uh, when I'm cleaning windows oh song from 1936 I don't know if I know that song but uh, it doesn't it doesn't matter what time a song comes out if it's a good song I feel like good songs are timeless like, there's still a lot of songs I reference that are, like, songs from, like, the 70s and 80s. <laughs> They're just good songs. All right, let's clean the window. Boop, boop, boop-a-doo-doop. -doo. Nice. 
I like that I can somehow magically reach up to this window, I must say. Whoop. Like this. Oh, thank you for the head pat too. Let's clean this window. Oh, thank you for the hydrate as well. I'm getting hit while I'm cleaning a window. <laughs> Thank you, I will have a sip. I am hydrated with monster. <laughs> yeah. I'll have some water in a bit, probably. Uh, Ms1234XD, welcome! Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in, hope you enjoy your time here. Happy Wednesday. Oh, if, if you drink, I drink. I'm fine with that. We shall drink together. Stay hydrated together. Saying drink together sounds like alcohol. <laughs> Just water and monster. Oh, thank you so much for the sub as well, Ems. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you decided to, to drop your prime sub here. I hope you enjoy your time here. You now get to enjoy all of the Leary emotes. You get to... Skip the pre-roll ads at the start of the stream. You get to have a cool little heart next to your name. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, what else do I need to do? Oh, there's still something to sell in here. Oh, it's that. Okay. <laughs> Leary drinking alcohol. I would never at 3 p.m. <laughs> Although, I don't know, I guess it would maybe in like 3 p.m. in other time zones. But no, I will happily say I, I like alcohol. I like having a little drinky drink from time to time. But not in the middle of the day for no reason. <laughs> I feel like I'm a very, a very social drinker. Like, I never drink alcohol if I'm on my own. Unless I'm like in a really bad state and I shouldn't be drinking it. Like, that's... Something I've not done for many years, but no, I, I tend to only have alcohol if I'm with friends, like having a good time with friends. It's a very social thing for me. But I do have a lot of nice alcoholic drinks. I'm a big fan of peach schnapps with lemonade. I love these flowers. I love these flowers on the wall. Oh, this is a great bedroom. Like it's so messy, but this is this is a, a really comfy bedroom. I like this. Right, let's start clearing things up. Get rid of these. Boop, boop. No, we're getting rid of the plushies. No. This is so sad. Oh well. I'll just adopt them and take them home with me. It's fine. Boop, boop. What does that say? Grow up. Oh, oh goodness. I maybe I shouldn't be reading this. Uh, dear Simon, I can't stand this anymore. It's not going to work out for us. You're too obsessed with your dream of becoming a stand-up comedian. You should focus on your career in Ascenso and finally do something with your allergies. Grow up, Olive. I think he stole the radiator. <laughs> Don't forget about the show, August 1st. Uh, my dad used to say to not hit two birds with one stone because it's rude, leave those birds alone. <laughs> I mean, true. Don't hit the birds. Uh, there's no joke here. Hee <laughs> hee. Nice. Bum 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 bum. Bum bum bum. Yeah, that's just the, the article. Oh, after I did the Driftwood House. Look at this. Driftwood House, a true Cinderella story. What a journey it was. After many trials and tribulations, Pinnaco residents can finally enjoy the new community center in the old Driftwood House on Crayfish Coast. And it looks fantastic. Thanks to the local house flipper, me, me, Liri, the cat girl, Liri, who renovated the building, no one will believe it was once known as the ugliest house on this side of the coast. I'm so happy to see the Driftwood House as I remember it from my youth. And now I can proudly show it to my grandson, says Margaret, one of the oldest members of the Pinnacove community. Nice. Nice. I did that. Let's get rid of these. Get rid of these. 
Get rid of that, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Oh, this is just like fully open here. That's so strange. Get rid of that, get rid of that. What else are we getting rid of? The whole bed, we're just getting a new bed. Okay. Oh, we're getting rid of the posters. They're cool though. Oh, it's okay. I'm sure we'll replace it with cooler things. Right, I think that's all the stuff to sell. Oh no, a cushion and a shelf. These, I thought I tried to sell these and it wouldn't let me. I guess I maybe just wasn't close enough. <laughs> Uh, you like the taste of beer, but don't drink that often. Yeah, I, I feel like I only really drink beer when I'm going out somewhere with Xander. Like, because Xander usually gets a beer and I'll just be like, I'll just have what he has. <laughs> Makes it easier. But like, I do like beer, I just don't drink it very often. But oh, Arches and Juice goes well too. I should try that. I should try like more things with Arches. Because I really like it. It's like peach schnapps. It's my favorite. My favorite spirit. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Give it a clean. I wonder what these say. Oh, my allergies. There's a list. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's allergic to so much. Oh, this poor guy. <laughs> So Simon is allergic to cow milk, eggs, shellfish, peanuts, wheat, grass, pollen, mold, dust, cats, dogs, beavers, and is prescribed antihistamine, saline, nasal rinse, and decongestants. This poor guy, he's like allergic to everything. Read this note, thanks, you're welcome. Uh, my mom's silly, she thought there was a bar near my flat, but it's a barber. Okay, all right. Uh. My father is the king of dad jokes. When I told him that my girlfriend and I had split up, he asked to look for clues. <laughs> no, that's so bad. I love that. That's terrible, I love it. Oh. Uh, my mom is so overprotective that I'm still not sure what a scab is. I made my dad laugh only once when I told him that I wanted to be a comedian. Oh, <laughs> bit of self-deprecation, huh? Uh, my mom is so overprotective that I didn't know that peaches have pits inside. That's not really a joke. That's, I'm sorry, buddy. That's, it's just a little bit sad. I. <laughs> If there's a joke there, I've missed that one. I <laughs> right, let's clean the windows. Do, 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 do. Yeah, nasal rinses and nasal sprays. I, I really hate the feeling of them. But like sometimes for allergies, they really make such a difference. Oh, yours is spiced rum. Ooh. Nice. I've got to say, I like spiced mead a lot. I don't have it very often, but sometimes Xander gets mead and he'll let me have some as well. Even though it's his, he still shares with me because he's very kind and generous, but don't tell him I said that. <laughs> but I really like mead. Mead is lovely. Oh, how goes the cleaning? It's going well. I'm, I'm helping this poor guy who is allergic to literally everything. Well, maybe not everything, many things. I'm helping to clean and um, unallergy his house, remove all the allergens, because um, there's there's a lot of stuff around. Yeah, mead is so lovely, and it's so fun because uh, Xander actually has a, a proper drinking horn as well. He has a he has a drinking horn, and so every time he has mead, he has it in like the horn. He's got like this little belt holster to put it on. And it's so cool just watching him drink mead out of this drinking horn. <laughs> it's the best thing. I didn't fin finish college because the college finished with me first. <laughs> too real. <laughs> a little too real, but I like it. That's a good one. What's the deal with allergies anyway? Is it flowers is revenge for loves me, loves me not? <laughs> 
is what's that book? Oh, there's a book. Uh, Become the King of Comedy: Return of the Schwager. Oh yeah, I've seen this one. Nice. Wait, there's a note on the game. Have a great day with a little heart. Oh, I hope that's not from his ex. <laughs> Right, I think that's all the cleaning, maybe. Let me, ugh. Put these by the door to get rid of. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the cleaning done. I've done all the cleaning and selling. So I guess next it's gonna be the painting. I think, oh, there's more notes here, more jokes. What's the difference between a badger and a raccoon? It's the name. My New Year's resolution was to not have any New Year's resolutions, so I failed. My Ascenso interview was weird. They asked me if I knew what a badger looks like. I hope these aren't meant to be jokes. Because if they are, I think they, they need a bit more workshopping. <laughs> you might need a little bit more work, maybe. What do these say? I hate olives. It makes sense because my ex-girlfriend was olive. That that's just I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Uh This is fine. <laughs> my mom is so overprotected that I learned how to tie shoelaces only last year. This isn't a joke. This is just making me feel bad about your childhood life. I'm my girlfriend left me because I took her to a very bad restaurant. I realized it when I saw a raccoon at the next table. What? My favorite food is chicken, but I hate catching it. <laughs> Are sun jokes just meant to be not jokes? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I, I feel really worried for this guy. It, it feels like the kind of situation where I could imagine him standing on stage, awkwardly saying these, and then there's just like confused silence in the audience. And then he like laughs to himself and moves on to the next one. Oh, I'm, I'm a little worried for him. <laughs> a lot of comedy can be self-deprecating. Yeah, but it, it still has to have the joke in there. I feel like there's a difference between like a self-deprecating joke and just making a self-deprecating comment that isn't like, doesn't have like a punchline. Cause if you're just there going like, oh yeah, when I was younger, I didn't get to do anything. Where's the joke? Where's the joke? Like saying, oh, my, my mom was so overprotective. I only just learned how to tie my shoelaces. Good for you. I don't know if it's just me, but I... But it's, it's, it's just, I, I feel like it would be awkward. I don't know, maybe I just have a different sense of humor. I don't know. <laughs> I do, I feel like I can't really say too much anyway, though, because when I think about the stuff that makes me laugh, it's like the most ridiculous stuff. I have like a, the silliest sense of humor. I, I like, I really like like bad puns and wordplay. But I also love stuff that like kind of doesn't make complete sense, but in a way that makes you laugh because you're just like, what, what is going on? <laughs> All right, I, th I think it's probably time to paint now. So we're getting white paint and we're getting orange. Okay, so we're painting these walls, but we're gonna keep the, the wall here because this is his his little makeshift stage. This is his um, comedy club brick wall. Right, so... I'm trying to think, what, what do I want to paint in which color? I think white would be nice to open the room up, but it would be nice to have like a splash of color with the orange. I'm just wondering where would be best. Maybe like the two either side of the brick wall, we can make those orange, but then like from here onwards, this can be white, maybe. Let's see how it looks. <laughs> Whoa, all the way along. 
yeah, they still haven't added like a a way to the, move the thing without it being really heavy, which is a little unfortunate. That's like my my biggest feedback for the game. I wish I could paint easier. I wish I could move my mouse to paint, but it's so heavy. But it's okay. It's okay. I snake my way along. Yeah, I think that looks good. So then, be like from here to. Oh, I lost it. I lost my selection because I think I, I hit something. Yeah, here we go, this wall. And now we go along here. Along here. I think I'm gonna have to do these as like individual ones. Ones. You can paint by mouse, but it's more awkward than keyboard. No, that's the thing I'm saying. Like, I'm trying. I've tried the whole time. You can paint by mouse, but it's so heavy. Like, I'm. It's so slow. Like, I'm having to like pick up my mouse and move it along. It needs a higher sensitivity just for painting. And it's something that I've said like since I started playing the game. But um, alas, it has not been patched. I don't know if it will be patched, if they'll ever add mouse sensitivity for painting. I hope they will one day. I still believe. But yeah, it's fine though. I'm 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 happy doing the the WASD approach, just snake around. Oh, that's quite cool, actually. Ooh, I think I like this. Yeah, I like this, I think. Yeah, I think having like the orangey red on either side of the brick and then having the white for the rest of it, I think that looks quite good. Yeah. Right, and now we unpack new furniture. We got new chairs. Hopefully hypoallergenic, so it'll be a better environment. Shelf, I'm thinking here. This feels like a spot for a shelf. Oh no, oh, coat rack. That's gonna be for by the door. Oh, and then I could put the shoes on it. Perfect. Perfect, move the shoes. I can go on the coat rack, perfect. Come on. Nice, so then that can go there. Can I have the outdoor shoes there. Another pair of shoes there. Take the slippies on the top. Ready to be grabbed as soon as you come in. Nice. Oh, let's get rid of these as well. If I just leave this open, I can just do this. Oh, um, you didn't see that. I could just do this. Really? Oh my goodness, never mind. <laughs> never mind. It's fine, I got it, don't worry. <laughs> Nailed it, perfect. Oh, sofa! Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put the chairs here. Yeah, that's probably where the sofa goes. Hmm. Bam, 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 bam. All right, sofa goes here. Air conditioner, yes! Can I put you here? I can't like get the right angle for it. There, that'll do. <laughs> An air purifier. Oh, that's gonna be good for allergies. Yes. Let's put that right here. Then we got a thermostat. Have that over here. Vacuum cleaner station. Oh my goodness, Roomba. Roomba, Roomba. We got a Roomba. Yes, perfect. That'll deal with the dust. Roomba, 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 Roomba. Boom. I 
think there's cabinets for this corner. Yeah. Hmm. Where do I want to put this? Maybe here. I don't know. Maybe this can go where I put this purifier at the moment. I put the put this there instead. Like that? Maybe. There we go. Yeah. And then this. I don't know where I'm putting this. In the corner. There. Perfect. Flawless. Also, Capybarista San. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. Welcome to House Flipper Times. I am currently renovating an apartment for a comedian who has a lot of allergies. And we're trying to remove all of the, the dust and plants and allergens from his home and make it more livable. And we just gave him a Roomba, so it's going well. <laughs> oh, this could be like a dining table. Have a dining table here, next to where the kitchen will be. And then we've got like the seats for this table. Yeah, I think that'll work. That'll be nice. A dust-free loft. Yeah, I know it's quite the challenge. <laughs> but I believe. I think we can do this. Okay, and now it's just unpacking what's in here. Oh, the mic. That's a nice mic. Lights. Nice. The stage is set. Hold on, I need to move this mic slightly. It's gonna be like that. I guess? I guess. It's an interesting stage. But yeah, I think that works. Okay, yeah, that's everything for the living room. Nice. At least the walls aren't carpeted. <laughs> well, there were carpets on the wall. A, a few carpets. A few heart carpets. No, flower carpets on the wall. But I got rid of those. They have been removed already. There's There were also so many rugs. There were loads of rugs everywhere. And also... Lots of plants, which is really interesting for a guy suffering from allergies, including pollen. To just have loads of plants everywhere. But you know what? It's okay. We're fixing it. I um, threw them all out the window. It's fine. <laughs> right, I guess kitchen next? Yeah, let's buy the new kitchen set. Right, how's this gonna be arranged? Okay, I'm gonna start with... There's the oven and there's the sink. Let's have them like a bit separate. I don't know what order I wanna put this stuff. I think I'm gonna do dishwasher in the corner. Oh no, the radiator's gonna be in the way. Some cabinet in the corner. There we go. Okay, cabinet, the sink, dishwasher, another cabinet, oven, I think. Cabinet, oven, fridge. Yeah! Oh, look at that. It fits so neatly. I love when that happens. <laughs> and the stovetop is going with the oven. Oh, that might be a bit close to the fridge, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Gonna go like that. I think that should be good. Maybe. And now there are loads of hanging cabinets. Time to figure out where they are going. I'm just gonna stick them all up and see what happens. Probably fine. And then the smaller one above the fridge. Yes, perfect. Oh, actually, to make them look neat, I'm gonna do it like um, sideways ones, 
these. Uh, hold on. Uh, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. Yeah, that looks good. I think. I think it looks okay. Right. Oh, we're painting in here as well. Oh, and doing tiles. Let's do the tiles. Yes, the the counter splashback. Is that all of it for the tiling? I need to check. It might want me to continue tiling. Yeah, it wants me to tile there too. Okay. Not a problem. Nice. Yeah, this is looking good. And then this one is, it's the same orange and white, but I'm thinking because we've got the green here, I don't want to bring that ready orange in. I think I'm just going to go white for the kitchen. I'm just going to do the white paint. Because I don't think I have to use both of them. I think it's just a uh, choose one. So I'm choosing white. Da -da -da. Along here. Make it small. There. Okay, kitchen done. Let's put the stuff where it should be. Get the stuff out of the box. I could just like leave it in there and make him do it all, but I kind of want to arrange all the pots and stuff now. Actually, there's loads of pots. There's so many, they're so mismatched. Maybe I just stick them all in a cupboard. Oh, that's the dishwasher. Maybe I just stick them all in a cupboard. There we go. I'm putting them away. Uh, where are they? Uh, just, um, good luck. Just have a look. <laughs> just have a look in the cupboards. They're in one of them. Just imagine him being like, oh, I love what you did with the place. Where's my stuff? And I'm like, it's, it's there somewhere. You'll find it eventually, don't worry. You can go in there. Nice. Toaster can go on the side. Oh, microwave! Oh, microwave can go in the corner. Nice, I need to put this pan away too. You can have this deep shelf. There we go, that's the pan shelf. <laughs> Um, uh-oh. I appear to have glitched the doors. Hold on a second, what have I done here? Oh no. It won't let me close the doors. Oh no, hold on. Hold on, I can fix this. Okay. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, don't worry about it. Not a problem, everything is fine. Everything is fine and okay, and there is nothing to worry about. I can just go on the stove, why not? And that can go in the corner. Yeah, I think this is a nice kitchen. Is that everything I need to do in there? Yep, that's everything I need for the kitchen. So, two rooms down. Let's work on this little in-between area now. Okay, we're buying a door. That's good. I was a little worried when I just bricked up the entire room, but we have a door now, so that's good. And then I'm buying a cork board. Cool. And a workbench. Oh, nice. Why, yes. Workbench with cork board. Nice! Okay, the panels are to finish the floor. Oh, doing a really nice job of this. Destiny Kim too, hello! Welcome, welcome. Is this one of the newer jobs? It is. This is one of the jobs that was added like in the last uh, few updates. <laughs> 
I, I don't know if it's the newest one. I don't think it is. But it's one of the more recent ones. It's one that was not in the game when I completed it the first time. But uh, I'm uh, removing allergens from the apartment of a stand-up comedian called Simon Whitman. And um, I don't think it's my kind of comedy. I don't think I would go to his comedy show, not gonna lie. But I hope for the best for him. But uh, he's allergic to loads of things. He's allergic to pollen, he's allergic to mold, he's allergic to dust. Walked into his home, it's full of plants and dust and dirt everywhere. So it's been quite a bit of work, but we're, we're doing it. We're, we're making it better for him. Oh, this corner can be orange actually. Oh yes, this feels like the kind of place to bring out the, the red orange paint. Yes. Like this. Look at that. Yeah, it doesn't sound good for someone with those allergies. It doesn't. There were just plants everywhere, like petals on the floor. So many rugs, so many carpets. But we're making it, we're making it a more livable space for him now. And it's coming along really nicely, I think. He's even got his own little stage. <laughs> I didn't do that, that was already here, but it's a lovely little stage. Lovely little kitchen, lovely little workbench area. Gonna figure out the bathroom now. Yeah, this needs a bit of work. Let's start by figuring out the tiles. Fix the floor. Get the stone tiles here. Okay, I'm thinking... Hmm. How's this gonna be tiled? Because we've got these tiles. This could be a nice floor, maybe. This feels like more of a floor tile. Yeah, let's do this for the floor. Feels like a nice floor surface. Oh, not gonna lie, you haven't done the newer stuff because you've been working on your dream house build and a tree house for your D&D party. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. Yeah, honestly, I've, I've been like super busy and also like overheating over the summer. So I haven't had the chance to check out the new jobs yet, but I just did the one that was the, the collaboration with the Floor is Lava devs, the Volcanic Studios one. That one was a lot of fun to do. And this one's a lot of fun too. And I have another one in the forest to do after this. So it's been really nice. Right. Which tiles do I want to use here? I don't know if I want like the small bricks. I think I like these ones. Let's see how it looks. Oh no, that's maybe a bit, no, maybe we do do the bricks. Yeah, I think this works. Yeah. Because we need to paint as well. Oh, I'm missing two spots apparently for tiling. Where are these two spots? I'm oh, it's right there, never mind. <laughs> it's these two. Boop. And then the rest is gonna be painted white. Yeah, all of this will be painted. Okay. Ah, oh, making you think you should update yours too. Yeah, these jobs have only been added recently. But it's really nice how they, they keep doing updates to add like more items, more jobs. It's the same way that the first house flipper was too. It's like, it's not just like the game is out and that is it. They're always adding more and I love that. I just painted over a bit I shouldn't have. Oopsie, oopsie. Um, we'll pretend it didn't happen. Pretend it didn't happen, it's okay. It's okay, it's all right, I didn't do that. He... They won't even notice, I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I forgot to, I forgot to mark my, my area. <laughs> I can't believe I did that, it's okay. 
Wow. Oh, grayscale background, like he's allergic to color. <laughs> no, but look at all this. There's already the color in here with the tiles and stuff. And we've got like our orange here. We've got orange walls here. I'm the one choosing to do the white just because it feels like it would match it. Okay. I need to fix this wall, actually. I, I feel bad. I feel bad that I broke this. Uh, coffee style. Apparently it's this one. See how it looks. It's not the same. But it's okay. It's okay. It's passable. It's passable compared to what it was like. Right, copy style of that. It's this one. Okay, yes. I think, yeah, I think the way this is done is like the checkerboard is for the blank ones. And then the pattern tiles are this one. So I'll do that and that. And then what I'll do is I will copy style of this. No, I don't think I can. I'll just buy this again. I'll just buy another set. It's fine. I need to fix it like that. There we go. Yes, fixed it. Fixed it. And then copy that one. Yes, yeah, the checkerboard. And then that will be for there. Yes. Okay, I fixed it. I bought so many tiles, but I fixed it. <laughs> like, I, I'm like, if I mess it up, I can't leave it like that. I need to fix it. That's fine. It's okay. It's not a problem. And thank you for the hydrate too. Yes, I must drink. Oh, it's so many tiles that had to be bought for this bit of wall. I know, right? It's so intricate. There's so much going into it, but I'm like, I, I, I had to fix it. I made the mistake. I had to put it right. Also, Eden Vash, hello. Oh, thank you for stopping in. Thank you for the luck. I hope you have a good, a good day. Thank you for stopping in. Have a nice relaxing time. Yeah, the rest is like buying stuff, so I'm going to sell all these tiles now. I've, I've, I've done all this. Buying like a whole box of tiles for one little square feels bad, but I, I had to fix it. Right, so now it's just buying the, the furniture. Oh, we're still buying a plant, I guess. Well, I'm sure it's okay. Right, buying a radiator. Let's put that there. We're getting the floating sink. Ooh. What is that? Oh, is that a light switch? I think that might be a light switch. Hmm. Have the toilet. That seems about the right height, I think. I'm going to move it over a little bit because this plant might get in the way. Plant for here, hopefully a pollen-free plant. Get a cabinet. I'm gonna put the cabinet next to the sink. Oh, wait, hold on. If I do that, have the sink like in line like this. Yes. The shelf. Shelf for sink-related things like that. Have the bin. We could put the bin in the corner. Beneath the plant. Have mirror. I might move that. I'll move that to there. Move the mirror to here. Oh, I can't get this where I want it to go. 
Uh, there. That'll do. That's good. That's good. That can go there. Don't know what I'm doing with that. I'll figure it out in a second. Uh, sarcastic reverb poster in the bathroom. Okay. I can go th th there. I, d I don't know where I'm putting this stuff. Shower. Oh, no. Shower's going to go here. I maybe don't put the poster in the shower. <laughs> Hold on. Might not be the best place for the poster. Maybe. But yeah, I think shower in this corner. That works perfectly. Oh, maybe the shelf can go in the shower. Yes, and then that's a place to put the uh, shampoo and stuff. Yes, yes. Excellent. And we got a towel rack that can go here. Toilet brush goes next to a toilet. A towel on the towel rack. Yes. Oh, I can put the towel on the towel rack. I'm so glad. Thermostat. Nice. Toilet paper holder. Goes there. Oh no, don't put. Oh, they keep putting carpets in the bathrooms. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. It's a uh, bath mat. Bath mat, it's okay. <laughs> also, Duke to hello. Thank you. Looking really nice. Thank you. I didn't do most of it. I, I can't take credit for the, the cool patterns and stuff. That was already here. I'm just enhancing the furniture and stuff. But uh, welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. Uh, that's everything for the bathroom, I think. Oh, I forgot to do this little tiny bit of floor. You know what? It'll be this now. That's fine. But yeah, this is looking nice. Oh, and then this stuff here. Now that we've got actual space to put it all, it doesn't have to be dumped in a box on the windowsill. Stuff can go on the shelves now. If I can place it on the shelf. Okay, okay. Oh, I, I'm standing on the sink. There we go. And toothbrush. Boop. Hold on, let me... Move the razor. There. I was gonna say, there's definitely space for it to fit on there. And that can go there. Let's put that on the holder. Yeah. And don't forget your note. Uh, write jokes on the toilet. <laughs> I didn't think about where to put the poster, but honestly, it kind of just works here. Yeah, I think this is fine. That's fine for the bathroom. Yeah, I've got everything I needed. Fabulous. I will leave that like that then. So we've done the downstairs, so now it's just up here. It's just the bedroom to be sorted now. Right, what is happening here? Okay, it's the same paints. So I'm just gonna bring them up. I'm thinking a bit of the red up here would be nice. Add the color to the bedroom. Boop. Right, let's see where needs to be painted. Yeah, it's these two walls. So maybe... Hmm. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is have one wall one color and then the other wall another color. But I'm not sure which way around. Oh, or... Actually... What if... I have an idea. I have an idea. What if? And then the rest of it white. 
don't know if this will look good. But it might. If this looks good, I'm going to be proud of myself. I was just thinking, what if I just, like, frame the windows? Just add, like, a strip of colour. Just, just like, a little pop of colour, and then the, then the rest of the wall is white. But just, like, at the top and bottom of the windows, to, like, frame the windows. And do it like that. I think it'll look good. I hope it'll look good. And then I still don't know what I'm going to do for the other wall, but I, I, I think this will look good. I hope it will. And then I do all of that in white. Like that. I like that. I like this. Oh, actually, ooh. Even more of an idea. If I just frame one of the windows, just one of the windows will be like this now. Ooh. Oh, if I do that, I think I want to alternate it. I think I know what I want to do here. I think I know what I want to do here. I hope, I hope it works. Ha 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 ha. Like that. Ooh. Hmm. What do I think of this? Ah. Oh. I actually think, I, I think I like the idea I'm going for here, but I'm gonna have less alternating. I'm gonna do it like just three big blocks, I think, but still keep like the alternating either side. I, I like my concept here. I'll do this part like this. And then up here I will do like this. And then up here I will do like this. And then this last bit at the bottom. Like that. Yes, I like this. I like that. I like this. <laughs> I think that looks cool. I like this. Having like the big block sections. Because I could even work that into this wall too if I wanted. Hmm. Do I want to continue it for this wall? Maybe just like one big long strip for this wall. Maybe. We'll see how it looks. If it looks bad, I'll just... I'll just change it. But it might look good. I feel like this is more interesting than just doing a, a plain wall. <laughs> like this. I think I like that. I think I like this because I can always change it too. Like once I get the bed in here, if I can get the bed placed and then paint like another block around where the bed is, I think that'll be really striking. I think that'll look really cool. Like here's the bed. Cause like having the bed like around here, Like it's that's that's almost central. I can make it more central with the paint. But then I think like what I'll do is like like that. Is that central? I can't tell if it's central or not. Let's 
count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Needs to lose one this side. There, that's central. Okay. I'm doing it. I'll move the bed afterwards. But I think this is gonna look cool. I think it's gonna look cool. I have faith in my vision. <laughs> da, 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 da. I have faith in my vision. What I do is I'll move this. I will put the bed central. I think that's central. That seems central to me. Yes. Yeah, I like this. I, I'm happy with this. <laughs> I could have just painted the wall. I could have just painted it all one color and be done with it. But I much prefer this. I, I like this. I'm proud of this. <laughs> right, let's get you a wardrobe. Uh, mm. Wardrobe? Right, Do, am I building a wall here? No, I'm, I'm using a fence. Adding more fence. match it along. Be like that? Yeah! Have the thermostat up here so you can change the temperature whenever you like. Let's have it there. Let's have... Oh! Okay, we're gonna have... There's the ottoman armchair. Where's the armchair gonna go? Oh, armchair feels like it would be really nice here on this balcony. <laughs> Liri, interior decorator. It's, it, I really like this kind of stuff. I, I feel like interior design is so cool and it's so hard to like make things actually look good. Like it's, it's one thing to have an idea. It's another to manage to implement it in a way that actually looks good. Like I feel like there have been several times, especially in this game, where I have an idea for something, I try and do it, and then I'm like, this does not work. Nope, never mind. Scratch that, I'm doing something else. <laughs> Air purifier? I don't know where the best place for an air purifier is, so I'm just like sticking it wherever at the moment. <laughs> Air conditioner can go above the window. the ottoman gonna go end of the bed yeah that works got a lamp the lamp in the corner oh maybe put the lamp here next to the chair have the chair more like that Lamp in the corner. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Dresser can go here. Yeah, there's still enough space to get past that as you go up. And poster! Pinnacove poster. Oh. Let's have it on the stairs as you walk up. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty cool, I think. Also turn the mirror so it's more like this way, towards where the wardrobe is. Right, so now we've got to unpack this box. What is in here? Oh, window cleaner, perfect. Keep the windows clean. Keep it all clean, perfect. 
Oh, maybe that can go on the shelves here. Go like down here? At the side, and then we could put these on the shelves. Like that, yes? Okay, and that's everything! I might move this higher actually, do it like here. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think I'm done. I think I'm done with this job, nice. Let's do a walk through, see if there's anything that I've forgotten, but yeah, we've got the, the living area, we've got the kitchen, we've got this little area with a workbench now. We have the bathroom. And we have the bedroom. I really like what I did with the walls here. I'm like really pleased with how that turned out. <laughs> yeah, I would say that's a job well done. Oh, I was wondering if I'd be able to activate the Roomba <laughs> and make it move around. But I don't think I can. But yeah, I think with that, 37,000 for that weight. That is a lot. I will take it. Thank you. <laughs> right, let's see the before and afters. Before. After. Oh, that's so much cleaner and brighter. Before. After. Nice. Before. After. I'm, I like that one. I'm happy with that one. Before. After. So much more open. Job finished, three stars. Text message time. Me and my nose, thank you. <laughs> it's perfect. I feel like I've started a new chapter in my life. A chapter without allergies. I'm happy you feel better. It's all because of you, no joke. Yay! A job well done. Right, so now the question is, do I want to do a bit more work on my own home? Or shall I do the other job? I think part of me wants to do the other job. Because then I'll have more money. <laughs> Let's have a look. Because the other job is over in the forest. It's this one. Uh, we found a lost child in the forest. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Um... Our son's friend is going to stay with us for the summer. Got to prepare the house for double the trouble, fix the adult's bedroom, and wall off part of the porch. I think that's a job we can do pretty well. Huzzah, the Leary house looks nice. Thank you. Honestly, I I really love how it's turning out. It's, it's really feeling like my home now. It's so good. This is the outside of the house. And this is the, the living room. This is the kitchen area. This is going to be... A storage room and laundry room. This is my streamer room. <laughs> and then we go upstairs. This is the bathroom, which is still a work in progress. I think when I was working on the bathroom, that was when I ran out of money and I couldn't afford the bath. <laughs> and then my bedroom, which is very much a work in progress. But I'm excited. I'm excited to do more. But uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do the other job because there's only one job left. I feel like I might as well. I might as well do it. Let's do it. House renovation. And then I have so much money and I can just buy everything for my own home. House flipping? I'm not flipping any houses. I'm just renovating my own. <laughs> oh my goodness, wait. This house is so nice. Oh no. I wish I had this house. Oh no. Oh no. I've already done so much work, but look how beautiful this house is. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, it's really nice. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Oh, am I going to have the same problem I had in House Flipper 1 where I, I renovate my house and then I find another house I like more? Oh, vacation home. Oh, I could have it as a holiday home. 
Have the one as my actual home and the other as my holiday home? I could do that. I love this frog. I love this. It's very wind in the willows. I love that. Ah. Oh. This is so nice. Okay, I guess I'm selling these. What else am I selling? Oh, selling that. Selling that. And that. What else is being sold? That. And that. And that. Oh, the rest of the stuff is in here, I think, for selling. Yep. Okay, so we sell that, 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 that. Oh, what happened here? Oh, goodness. Someone broke the chair. Oh, is it like the this chair is too small for me, she said as she sat on it. <laughs> and broke it to smithereens. This chair is just right. I love the little bear plant pot. That's really cute. Okay, what am I picking up? What do I need? I don't know. Let's clean. So many little handprints. Who's climbing up? Oh, they're climbing up. <laughs> Look, they pulled the drawers out so they could climb up and reach the, the snacks in the cupboard, probably. Reach the cookie jar on the top shelf. Also, oh my goodness, these cat magnets are incredible. Look at those. Look at the magnets. I need those. I need those for my fridge. Oh, I need them. They're so good. Oh, this house is so lovely. Also, Shy Pie, hello! Welcome, welcome. Oh, this this really is just such a, a picturesque country cottage. It's so nice. Look at this too. There is so much character and charm on these shelves. I love this. I love this. Look at the cats. I love the cats. I need more cats for my house. I, I need all of the cats for my house. Right, what else am I selling in here? Oh, a beam. A random beam somewhere. Which beam? Where is this random pillar I need to sell? I don't see it. It's just... It's just telling me to sell that. I don't know what that is. Is it a shelf? Is it a ceiling support? Where is this beam I need to sell? Is it like further up somehow? No, because then it'll be a different room, right? Oh, it might be outside. Oh, it's, it's here. It's here. It's right above the doorway. Okay. I got it. Oh, reminds it reminds you a bit of your Final Fantasy XIV personal estate. Oh, I love that. I bet you have a lovely home then. Ah, oh, you did it. You added your cans to Vinyan. Oh, nice. Good job. Good job. <laughs> uh, fiddled the riddle. It is a conundrum. What am I doing? Right, I, yeah, there's nothing else to sell in here. It is, oh, demolishing. I have to demolish walls. Okay, okay. I, I want to start with like the, the cleaning and selling parts before I get around to the full like demolition stuff. Like have like a, a nice base canvas before I start getting the hammer out. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a, a run through of the whole house. Make sure it's all clean, make sure I've sold what I need to. Go like this. Okay. I need to sell. Okay, this is just buying stuff here. I'll come back to that afterwards. Oh, I love these little turtles. Oh, they're so cute. The little tortoise. Oh, I love this. I love this house. This house is so lovely. They have bees. They have bees. They have bees. 
I love this. I love this. This is so nice. It's so nice. Oh. What's in here? Anything else in here? No, this is all good. This is where the where they get the honey. Oh, this is so lovely. Yeah, this property is going to end up being my my holiday home. <laughs> I got these. <laughs> Here comes the B-movie script. You, you, do you want to know the funny thing? I didn't even think about B-movie. <laughs> I just got excited at the thought of bees because I think honeybees are just so cute. I love bumblebees. Bumblebees are very sweet. They just buzz along. They're just having a, a lovely little time. Just flying around flowers, having a good time. But yes, uh, according to all known laws of aviation, there is no way that a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Don't worry, I'm not going to do the whole thing. <laughs> right, what else in here? Oh! I see, storage room. Storage room, junk room, room to dump things in. I see. Oh, look at the family. Oh, that's so cute. I love this because it's just like, this is like the bear family. And then I'm guessing that the son's friend is <laughs> Goldilocks. <laughs> is the one here who's going to be staying with the family. This is really sweet. I like this family. This is lovely. Oh, this, this place needs a lot of renovating though. All of the wallpaper's peeling. Let's get rid of all of that. Boop. Boop. Right, what else am I getting rid of here? All right, let's start selling. Sell that. Sell that. We're keeping these things. Get rid of that and that. That, 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 and that, and that. What else is to sell? That and... It's saying two boxes, but I don't... Oh, the boxes that the things are in. There we go. Okay. We got him. Uh, you've had to vacuum out a wasp's nest at a friend's house this last week. Makes you sad because you think wasps are misunderstood. Oh, I don't. I don't. I really like bees, but I think wasps are mean. <laughs> Um, every encounter I've had with a wasp, they've just been mean for no reason. Whereas, like, bumblebees, especially, like, they don't want to hurt you. They don't want to sting you. They want to just fly away and leave you alone. Wasps want to sting you. They're, they're little vicious creatures. I would rather they stay away from me. Uh, spend four hours with a wasp in your room while you were streaming and you didn't disturb each other. Wow, I've never had that experience. For me, it's always been like, if there's been a wasp around, the wasp makes makes like a, a straight line directly to me and stings me. I've only ever encountered mean wasps. <laughs> Got lots of, lots of nice bees, but all the wasps I've met have just been terrible. Uh, as a redhead, wasps and bees alike scare you. Oh no! You've had like 20 get into the house this summer. Oh. Yeah, I think the thing is like with bees, because of the way bees work, like they lose their stinger if they sting you. It's like a very last resort kind of thing. They don't want to sting. Whereas wasps, they don't have that restriction. They they can keep stinging. So it's, so I'm a little more wary of wasps. But also I don't know if it might just be a UK thing as well. But every single wasp I've ever encountered in the UK has just been extremely aggressive immediately. Whereas all the bumblebees I've seen, they just kind of bumble along. They just want a good time. Also, the lighting keeps going really weird. Like, when I step here. And I don't know why. But yeah, I just, I just think bees are very sweet. I like bees. Right, what else is for this room? Uh, finishing the surfaces and buying things. So we've done the cleaning. Right, what's in here? Oh, bathroom! Oh, this is such a nice bathroom. Oh, 
this is lovely. Oh, I don't have to do anything for the bathroom. This is already done. It's so sweet. It's so lovely. I love that they have all of these honeycomb shelving units everywhere to keep things. That's so sweet. I love it. Oh, wasps are also pollinators, though. Wasps can't really sting if their tummies are full of food because they need to bring their thorax in to sting, but their tummies get in the way. Ah! So what I'm gathering from this is that all wasps in the UK are starving, and so they're just trying to eat us. <laughs> but it's like, the, the main times I've encountered wasps before, it's always been like in a, a super aggressive manner. Like they, they just go straight for me and I am the food. <laughs> yeah, that tracks. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense thinking about it like that. Uh, right, let's go upstairs. Oh, that's great. That's a great image. That's good. Ooh, okay. Oh my goodness, what is this wallpaper? Wait. Is this a new wallpaper? I don't remember this. I don't remember this. I need... I need this wallpaper. I do not remember seeing that pattern before. If if that's not new and I've just missed it this whole time, I'm going to be so disappointed in myself. <laughs> but I need that. I need that. That is so cute. I love it. <laughs> they go for me because I'm super sweet. Oh, that's really nice to say but still painful <laughs> I'd rather wasps didn't go for me a little painful let's get all of this stuff oh just realize this is the three bears house from Goldilocks yeah it's it's based off that it's not exactly the three bears and Goldilocks but it's it's all like references to it like walking through at the very beginning there was like one of the chairs that had just been broken like this chair is too small for me this chair is too big for me. This chair is just right. <laughs> but yeah, it's very sweet. I love like the references, but it's basically like the story for this job is this is the bear family, like their surname is Bear. And the son's friend is coming to stay for a while. She also coincidentally has blonde hair. <laughs> So it really is like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It's very sweet. But uh, we're renovating the house to make sure there's there's room for Goldilocks. A space for her to be here. We're going to renovate the place. Oh, is this a little fort? Hold on. Oh my goodness. I think I have to sell these. Yep. Look at this. Oh, this is lovely. I would have given anything to have... A little hidey hole like this when I was a child. This is, this is lovely. This is so nice. I love this. It's so cozy. This is lovely. Oh, good luck. Oh, thank you for the luck, Bob. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you for stopping in. And good job with the cans. <laughs> but our oh, cat wallpaper has reminded you, you'll be surrounded by cats at your in-laws tomorrow. Oh, yes. Soon, soon, all of the petting, all of the cat times. This is so sweet. This is lovely. I would have loved to have a little den like this when I was younger. Great work. Look at the little dinosaur. It's so lovely. Yeah, all we have to do in this area is unpack boxes. So let's get some of Goldilocks' stuff in here. <gasps> she got a little kitchen. A little play kitchen little doll house we got a car car can go up there got a little truck little robot oh what a lovely little den I love this it's so cozy this isn't so lovely it's so nice Anyway, let me crawl out of here. Oh, I just realized there's dirt under the bed as well. I need to clean that. I mean, there's dirt kind of everywhere. Let's get this place clean. 
clean and renovated. Oh, is that glass? We don't want glass lying around. That's dangerous. Oh, your family used the under the stairs closet for sleepovers during hurricanes. Oh! I mean, a little scary with the hurricane aspect, but I can imagine it was very cozy. For you, that was your closet. Oh! See, I, I never had, like, a closet closet. Like, in the UK, we don't tend to have, like, very big closets. We have, like, wardrobes, but they're not usually super big, especially once clothes are actually in them. How do I get rid of these spider webs? There's spider webs. Oh, I need to pick it up and put it in the trash bag. Okay. <laughs> All right, whatever you say, game. Pick up the spider web with my bare hands. Well, with my cat girl hands, I suppose. Also, the Lone King, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're enjoying your time here. How's it going? Welcome to the house flippy times. Uh, effervescence on the walls is a bad sign of water intrusion. Don't worry, uh, this is a video game. I've wiped it up, therefore there's no problems. <laughs> But yes, welcome, welcome. And also, I think I just hit 2,600 followers, which is so cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> welcome to uh, the bear house. Right, yeah, the rest here is... Oh, no, I need to sell the lights. Boop, goodbye. So, yeah, the rest is buying stuff. Oh, no, there's one stain left. Oh, it's here. Got it. I got it. <laughs> words to live by don't worry this is a video game things i say to myself in real life too <laughs> just be like don't worry it's just a game i can reload right maybe maybe not it's fine and what's oh look it's like a little art area up here this is so sweet oh this is lovely what a lovely room. Okay, so this is going to be the children's room. And then the parents' room is going to be moved downstairs. So I guess this is going to become the parents' room now. Because they're moving from upstairs because they were all sharing a room before. Like the mum, the dad, and the young son. But now, because Goldilocks is coming to stay as well, the kids get the whole upstairs. That is so luxurious. Right, but I think with that, I've done all of the cleaning. Right, so let's start with outside, I guess. What are we doing here? I've got to demolish and build stuff. Oh, oh, this is the porch. This is what they meant when they said they're, they're gonna like board up the porch. They're making like a full actual porch area, like a building. This isn't just open anymore. I see. Nice. <laughs> if your conversation with someone goes south, would you be okay returning to an earlier save state? I wish there was the possibility of that. <laughs> oh, so many times I can think of where I just... I say something and then I'm immediately like, I wish I had not said that. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay, I'm just playing on hard mode. I have to figure out a better way to deal with it. It's it's fine. Okay, and then... Because I haven't got a door yet, I'm gonna have to go all the way around <laughs> to do this wall. Alright, let's um barricade myself in here. Like this. Oh, I'm getting so good at laying walls now. Look at this. So speedy. This is why they hire me. Okay, and now I need to demolish? What do I need to demolish? Oh, this whole wall. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Boom. 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 Ah, oh, I could have done that better. Definitely could have done that better. It's okay. OK. 
carefully. I don't want to <laughs> demolish too much wall. It's times like that I should probably be using the precision tool instead. But I simply am not. <laughs> There we go. Okay, wall demolished from here. We've got a new extension here. This is so nice. It's just making it bigger here. This is lovely. And now we buy a big window. Oh no, that's a door. Okay, there's the door to go outside. And nice windows. Window there and there. And there. Oh, this is really nice. Oh, we're going to have a dining room. Oh, this is a little area we can put a dining table. All right, let's have the table. Oh, where do I want the table? So I was thinking like here. And then like have the chairs around like this way. Because I don't want to get in the way of the door. I'm not sure. Hmm. Could be like this. in line with this window. Like that, and then it can be two and two. Two chairs either side. Yeah, I think this would work. And I do that and that. I do that and that. Oh, maybe like... This. alternate them. Yeah, I like that. I like this. Also, exactly, why be precise when I can live life on the edge? Why go for precision when I can just um, get a sledgehammer out? <laughs> a plate for each place. The light switch can go next to the door. Oh, teacups and saucers. Serving bowl for the middle. Everyone gets a teacup. Boop, 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 boop. Floor lamp. Oh, this is a pretty lamp. Oh, where do I want to put this? Hmm. Maybe here. Hmm. I don't know where I want to put the floor lamp. Maybe, like, in the corner. I don't think it'll fit here. Oh, it kind of does. It doesn't feel right, though. Maybe you could just go here. Yeah, I think that's fine. And we got a vase. I'll put it there. And a ceiling lamp for the new ceiling. Right, and now this light switch goes to this light. Haha. -ha. Boom. I remembered to link up the light switches. What does that do? Oh, this is all the spotlights, and then this is just the main light. I see. Okay, and then this is the light for in here. Haha. -ha. Nice. Right, so now we have to finish surfaces. Oh yeah, we need a floor. We need a proper floor in here. And also paint. Faded yellow. Nice. Let's get this floor in. I probably should have done the floor before I started putting the furniture in. But it's okay. Can still do it. Yes. Not a problem. I can still floor properly. Yeah, got him. Nice. <laughs> you never remember to do the floor before the furniture. It's something I usually do. I'm usually like, okay, I'm going to make sure I do the walls and floors before everything else, but I got carried away with this little extension. <laughs> I just immediately saw that I was making the extension of the house and I was like, oh, this is lovely. Yes. And before I knew it, 
I had not done the walls and floor. But it's not a problem. Nice. And now this wall. Oh, I love so much when it's like exactly three width. Because it means it's like the perfect size for my paint roller. I love when that happens. Alright, oh, I'm gonna have to do like the inside here too. These bricks are so noticeable. I can't leave them. I can't leave them, I notice them. Sometimes like the in-between bits where the windows are aren't noticeable as much, so I can leave them without feeling bad. But with things like this, like, it's so noticeable. I have to fix it. They hired me because they trusted me. I have to do a good job. <laughs> that goes there. That goes there. Do the doorway. Down into here. So silent waiting for the next song to play. <laughs> that goes across there and I'll do this window too while I'm in window mode. Go like that. Go like uh, the, whoop, that. Oh, I think I was standing too close there. I confused it. <laughs> and we go like that. Now I section all of this off. Also, Zarok, thank you for the hydrate. I will hydrate when I have finished painting this wall. Like this. Ha ha ha. Good. Oh, Zarok, thank you for the hydrate and posture check. I will have a big stretch. And sit up straight, and I will have a sip of my monster. Thank you, thank you! Oh, the silence in House Flipper 2 is why you play Spotify on Shuffle when you play. <laughs> yeah, see, if there weren't like so many like copyright restrictions and stuff, I'd probably do the same. I, I actually think that's what I did last time I played this. I ended up playing random video game music as my soundtrack instead of the game soundtrack. But honestly, it feels like a bit of a shame because the music in this game is so sweet. It's lovely background music. It's just like the gaps between the tracks sometimes are so long. There's just the awkward silence. At least this time it's not as awkward because there's like the nice roar of the fire. <laughs> but uh, okay, so that is done. What about in here? Yeah, this is everything for in this area. So now let's let's do this little area out here because I don't think there's much. Oh, I have to paint. I have to paint the outside of the house. Oh, I nearly forgot that. I nearly forgot. I would have just left it with this bare brick. Hee <laughs> hee, bear. Let's paint that. Here we go, and nice. Oh, I missed a bit of floor. It's okay, I can do that in a sec. Now we do this side. Up like this. Perfect. Oh, that feels like it should be green. Hold on a second. I feel like I need to change this. I want to make this match. It looks wrong. This isn't even part of my job. I just want to do it. <laughs> this isn't part of the job I was given. But it feels like it doesn't match. I want it to match. 
Oh, I wish there was an easier way to get around this way. This is horrible. This is horrible for accessibility now. I do not like what they've done with this. They need, like, a doorway here, like a gate on this side. Yeah, it's like these. this brown doesn't seem to match as well, I don't think. So I'm, I'm doing my own little addition to this job. This is not part of the job. I just want it to look nicer. <laughs> this one's a freebie. I'm offering this one free of charge. <laughs> just because I want it to look good. Oh. And around to here. Boop. There we go. That's so much nicer. That matches so much better. So it feels like, it feels like there's a gap here. Why is there a gap? Why is there a gap there? I don't like this. There shouldn't be. There shouldn't be a gap. Why is there a gap? It's not just because I can see the wall, is it? It might be. It might be because I can just see the wall. I guess I just paint that. <laughs> I need to do this bit too. There we go. Additional services. This is why they hire me. This is why I earn the big bucks, because I always go above and beyond with all of the work I do. I won't settle for a shoddy job. I will always do my best. No, it won't even let me select that. This little in-betweeny bit. I despise that. You know what? I'm simply not going to look at it. That doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. I don't know why that's there. Right, anyway. I didn't paint the other wall. <laughs> I went around to paint the other wall and I got distracted. By everything else. But uh, once I've painted this, I think the outside will be good. We'll go like these. And then I go like are these. Nice. Now I wonder with this. Can I? Oh yes, I can. <gasps> yes. I fixed it. That was really annoying me. I am so happy I could do that. I'm so happy I could do that. Oh my goodness, that feels good. <laughs> Every tiny little bit, I'm just like, can I, can I make this better? I can. Thank goodness. Because I don't know what's going on with this. I don't know why it's like this. Oh, it'll, it'll have to do. I'll pretend it's fine. <laughs> Right, uh, anyway, over to here. We need some more stuff for in here. <gasps> blankets! Yes. Have some blankets. Ready for comfy times. We can have a picnic basket. Where should I put the picnic basket? Let's put it down here. At the side. Got some lovely pillows. Oh, that's pretty. I like those. And then we got a candle. Ba bum. And a vase. Ba bum. Oh, and then they can light a fire here. Oh, it's so nice. It's going to be so cozy. So cozy and lovely. Right, is there anything else here? No, I think that's everything for the garden now. So the rest is all going to be inside the house, I think. The children from Swing Hills. Oh, and there's an apple. Nice. This is a lovely garden. Such a lovely house. I like this. 
I like it more now that I could fix the wall here. <laughs> right, so I've done everything in here. So I think now it's just doing the, the parents room and then adding more to the children's room. And then I will be done. Right, so let's actually start with the walls and floors this time. <laughs> Before I start getting furniture out, I will actually do walls and floors. Oh, these wallpapers are lovely. Oh, I don't know which wallpaper I want to do. I'll decide in a minute. We'll get the floor down first. Floor is easy enough. Oh goodness, wait, I'm I'm suddenly PowerPoint. Hold on. Why am I lagging so much? What just happened? I, I'm just la I just started lagging so much. But only when I when I'm holding this? Yeah, oh, oh my goodness. What what the heck? What is happening? Look, I'm fine. I'm normal. I'm moving usually. I pick up the floor. Oh, but I, <laughs> what is happening? I'm so stuck. I'm, I don't, I, I'm so confused. Hold on, I'm just gonna stay very still while I do this. Oh, is it when I look like this way? No, I, it's when I look at the floor. Oh no, it's when I look like this direction. This wall? It does not like me looking at this wall. That is bizarre. Or this wall. Is it just the walls? I'm so confused. It's okay. I'm just gonna stay still. That's so strange. Has this happened before? I didn't notice if this has happened with any other things. I only just noticed then. I just somehow could not move. <laughs> That's so strange. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Thank you for the head fat as well. Let me have a sip. What a mystery. Because, like, when I'm not holding it, I'm fine. But, like, when I'm holding onto this floor, specifically where when I'm looking at, like, this wall, I can't move. I'm... I'm, I'm stuck. That's so strange. That is bizarre. <laughs> right, let's, let's get some wallpaper. It, I'm still a little stuttery with the wallpaper as well. That is very strange. Anyway, this is pretty, so I'm choosing this. I don't know why I'm so... so laggy. I shouldn't be this laggy. It is a mystery. Is it maybe the grid that's being shown? I... Maybe. No, but... The then sometimes, sometimes it's more reactive than others. Like, like when I'm like on this wall, I can move a little bit. When I'm here, I'm just not moving. I'm, I'm not moving. <laughs> I don't understand. I think it might be the grid. I think you're right. I think it is the grid. That is so, so very weird. Also, Lumsev, hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, you just joined as I'm somehow entering lag central. I can't move when I do this. It's the grid. It's when the grid shows. That's so strange. Okay, I'm just gonna stay very still now. I'm gonna do the rest of the house. Uh, ventriloquist style. Oh, but then it's like here I'm... It's, I can move a little bit. I'm still laggy, but I can move a bit. But then other positions I just could not do anything it's so strange so strange bizarre I don't understand that's all right anyway I'm just doing all of this floral wallpaper because it's cute I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this wall like this and then these two I'm gonna do with this other wallpaper hopefully it looks nice oh it does yeah, that's fine. This is fine, I think. Very strange. What a mystery. Yeah, it's the, it really does not like the grid, but only like in this room, somehow. I, I don't think this has happened 
in any of the other ones. If it has, I just didn't notice. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like having the two wallpapers. I'm, I'm getting the other one again. I'm going flowers for all of it. <laughs> I'm doing the whole thing with flowers. This is flower room now. I have decided. Ah, boop. Flowers. Yeah, I'm so laggy. And there. Make sure I cover it all up. There we go. Yes, it is all flowers now. Nice. Oh no, I want to sell it. I want to sell it. There. Boom. Got him. And now I buy the furniture. Oh, you're building a new PC to play the new Mist in VR? Oh my goodness. Oh, good luck. <laughs> good luck. I hope it goes well. I hope the build goes well. But you might not make it before Sunday. Oh, I hope you can. That would be very cool. But oh, the new Mist is, is really interesting, though. Playing it like the 3D just walk around. I feel like the stuff I got stuck on would have been way more obvious in like point and click mode. <laughs> But alas, it's okay. I got there eventually, so that's that's all I'm really worried about. Like, I don't care how slowly I go, so long as I do get there in the end. And Mist is a really nice game for exploration as well. Like, I don't feel so bad not doing much, because I'm still wandering around having a great time. Hopefully I can figure out some of the things I was stuck with. Yeah, I think bed going there makes the most sense. Maybe. Like that. Yes, I like this. Ah, oh, somehow you've never played Mist. Oh. Oh. Well, I I hope you do get to play it before Sunday then. <laughs> but yeah, it's so interesting though because I went into it knowing that I have played it before but like as I've been playing it I genuinely do not remember anything I thought I would remember things as I went along I'd be like oh yeah I remember this part but I've just been drawing a blank with the whole thing it's basically a new experience for me <laughs> it's basically like I'd never played it before just so interesting because uh, that's happened once before for me, where I've played a game that I know I've played and I've not remembered any of it. But usually, like, there's at least a few things I do remember. Usually I'll be, like, playing and I'll be like, oh yeah, I do remember this bit, vaguely. Like, something will happen and I'll be like, oh yeah, now I remember. I, I don't remember any of Mist. Wild. Right. Oh, we're doing the shelves! Yes! We're getting the honeycomb shelves in here. All right, we'll have two yellow ones and a black one. Have it like that. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna have some birds on the wall. Okay, oh, let's have them by the door. Bird over the door. Oh no, let's have a bird there as well. I think that's nice. <laughs> and we have a bookcase. I'm thinking this is going to be the corner where I did put these sunflowers. That feels like a good bookcase spot. Whoop. Bookcase here. Oh, it might not let me because of the picture. Let's put that there. Oh, it's because there's a little thingy on the, the floor. That's going on here. You are going in a, a hexagon. Get in the hexagon. You get a hexagon. Oh, thank you for the hydrate too. Let me have a sip of my drink. 
Thank you, thank you. Oh, this is such a lovely bedroom, though. I love how this is turning out. Oh, I wonder if I could fit this. No, I don't think I can fit it on the shelf. I don't think it'll fit on one of those either. I don't know where to put this TV. Oh, on the dresser. That's what I'll do. I'll put the dresser here. I'll move the bookshelf somewhere. I'll move the hexagons. The dresser can go here with TV on it. Watch TV in bed. Yes. Carpet. Boom. Nice. And... Oh, I guess the hexagons can go above the dresser. Above the dresser, like around here. Like I'll put that there, put that there. Put that there. It's having like a diagonal line. Yeah, that can work. And I might just have all of the birds above the bookshelf and uh, wardrobe. Have them all over here. That's quite cute. Right, so then shelf. Shelf go there. Bookshelf go there. Sunflower can go down here. And then this large sunflower can go between these. Oh, I took it out of the planter. Oops. <laughs> I want to take the plant pot with it. Thank you. That can go there. Nice! Do I have to move the books individually? Oh, this is painful. It's really making me put each one of these books on the shelf individually. Okay. It's okay. I'll do it. I'll do it because I'm dedicated to doing a good job. I'm gonna put them on different shelves though. No, not the bed! <laughs> no, not the bed, I just need the books. Ah. Little book. I'm not putting them in a specific order, they're just going wherever I put them. They can sort their own books out afterwards. <laughs> you can go. Single book can go on the top shelf. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, come on, I had it. I had the angle for a second. There. I don't think that's even on the shelf. It's like falling out the back. It's fine. Will that fit like the tiny gap I accidentally left here? It will. Nice. I meant to do that. And then you can go in another one of these hexagons. Like that. And I don't actually have anything to put in the middle one. Hmm. Maybe a book. This book. This book can go in the hexagon. There we go. <laughs> nice! Okay, I like that. I think this is nice. Bum 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 bum. And yeah, that's everything for here. So it's just the children's room now. Also, Zariad, hello. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? No, the hexagon is a good place. A hexagon is a place to be proud. It's it's like if you've been promoted to the hexagon, you're the best book. <laughs> But uh, welcome, welcome! Oh, very tired! Oh, me too. I'm always tired, so it's not really, like, a new thing for me. But uh, I hope you feel less tired soon. Welcome. Need to watch Cat to regain your strength. Okay, I will, I will try and provide as much strength as possible. <laughs> okay, oh, this is gonna be Goldilocks' bed. Oh, it's cats! <gasps> I feel like they've added more cat things. I feel like they've added more cat stuff because I don't remember seeing these before. 
I feel like I would remember if I'd seen these before. I feel like I'd remember seeing these cat things. Look at that. I need my bed to have that. I need my bed to have this pattern. I need my walls to have this wallpaper. Oh my goodness. Okay, nightstands. Let's have them next to each other. Be cute. Move them over a little bit. Like that. Yeah, that works. I think. I think this bed might need to be one square over. This way. Yeah, that's more central now. And then like that. Yeah! And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move each one over one. Actually, I think that one's closer now. I think I do that. Yeah, that looks right. That looks good. Carpet time. Round carpet is going in this corner. Long carpet is going... The bottom of the stairs. Or maybe between the beds? I, d I don't know where I want to put this carpet. I don't... Mm. Truthfully, I do not care too much for this carpet in this room. Oh, maybe I do that along there and then have the round one in the middle like that. But yeah, I think that can work. I think that works. That's fine. It'll do. Oh, they're having a sofa. This is the sofa corner. This this is where a sofa goes. <laughs> this is where a sofa goes. Uh, oh, yeah, you did. You, you mentioned you work as postman now. Yeah, it's postman Zaryad. Is it tiring work being a postman, though? I can imagine it would be. <gasps> Wait, they have so many games. I need to build the shelves to put the games on before I get the games out. Okay, dress is going here. I think this is where the games go. Oh, that's not going to fit there, is it? Might fit on top? No, not quite. Oh, I'll tell you what. We have sofa in the corner, like this. Yeah, that kind of jaunty angle. And then the board games are stacked up down here. Oh no, it won't let me. Oh, please. Please, I want to stack up the board games. Move that over slightly. No, it's, it's still in the way of the sofa, I think. If I do it the other way around. Sofa here. If I just do it straight on, what if I don't do the jaunty angle? <laughs> Why can't I place it now? Oh, I think this balcony banister just has a really big hitbox, maybe. Oh, okay, I can do that. I can do that, okay. We can stack the toys, the games up there. Oh, I also need to put a desk in here. Oh, I guess the desk can go, like, here. Even under this window. Like that? That could be cute. Okay, and with that, I've got enough for three stars, but I still haven't finished the job. <laughs> Coffee table. Office chair. Ceiling lamp. Boom. And table lamp. Yeah, that can go on the coffee table. Nice! Oh, it's because on top of delivering so many letters, so many that you don't count them but go on wait, you also deliver small packages. Oh, yeah, that's so much work then. And I can imagine like when it's lots of stuff going to loads of different addresses too. You have to do so much travel. It's a tiring job. 
You do a good job, thank you. <laughs> As someone who gets a lot of stuff delivered to my house, thank you. <laughs> and what else? Oh, it's a little box. Oh, are we gonna make this like a little makeup table? Oh. I think it is. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That sneeze took me by surprise. I think this is gonna be like a little dresser makeup table. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, we got a little hairbrush, hairdryer for Goldilocks. A comb. That's lovely. Right, is there anything else to do? I think that's everything now. Yeah, we've got all of this unpacked. They've both got beds now. They've got their little comfy hideaway in here. There's the little art space up here. We've got the living room down here. We've added the extension with a dining table. We've added the stuff to the little the little gazebo out here. Boop. And we've done the parents' bedroom. Yeah, I think that is a really nice job. I like that. I love this house. This is such a charming house. <laughs> I really love like the little honeycomb shelving unit. That's so nice. Right, so with that finished job, 40,000 for that as well. I guess because of all of the construction work, the building, putting the walls up. Oh, let's see the before and after. Before, after, extra room. Before, after, it's lovely. Before, after, not much really changed there. <laughs> before after that is a huge change i like that room that's so nice all right be there i did it i love your house it looks straight out of a fairy tale that's exactly what i would message as well thank you and now it's also functional thanks to you do the kids like it they keep running around screaming, so I assume it's a yes. Oof, sounds tiring. What, running around screaming? Yeah, it does sound tiring. <laughs> At least we're glad that our Teddy has someone to play with. And Goldie is a sweetheart too. Yeah, she's literally called Goldie as well. That's great. At least while she doesn't have a sugar rush. I think she isn't used to eating fresh honey. <laughs> I love that with all the beehives. That's so sweet that was a lovely job wait and i just got an achievement millionaire for earning my first million so now we know i have earned a million in this game i have ninety-three thousand in my wallet <laughs> all that money i've earned what have i done with it I'm certainly not flipping houses, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's really funny, knowing that I've earned a million and I, I have less than 10% of that. No, wait, it'd be less than... I don't know percentages, actually. 100,000. Yeah, just less than 10%. No, I was right. <laughs> I've spent so much money already and I've not made it back. That's, I think that's the funniest part. Like I'm not actively trying to earn money. I'm just making the money so I can spend it all on my own house. <laughs> I should be investing. I need to do more investing. Ah, uh, do around 600 to 700 kilometers weekly. Wow, that's so much. It, you, must, you, you must have to be so physically fit to be able to do a job like that. That's wild. Like, even, like, if you like, transporting and stuff, it's, like, so much travel. And then, like, having to head to each house and deliver everything, that's so much work. But, uh, hard work, but very rewarding. Yeah, I think... 
knowing that you're doing something so valuable really makes it feel worth doing. Something you can feel proud of. It's good. I wonder how much worm on a string I could buy with all that money. Um, at least 10. <laughs> right, so with that, I think I've done all of the jobs now. Right, go here. I've done all the jobs here. I've done all the jobs here. Done the jobs here. Yeah, I've done it. I've done all of the jobs. Uh, I think I've unlocked all of the perks, except for like the flipper skills, which is just using my spidey senses. And I also have not got the skills for selling houses. Because <laughs> I haven't been selling houses. Oopsie. Oh, see, what I really need to do is I really need to get one of these two houses and renovate it and sell it. And get money from that. But that's not what I've been doing. I've also been ignoring the assembly stuff because I don't like the, the time limit aspect. So I'm just like leaving them. <laughs> but uh, they have added new furniture recently though. They, they said there's a, a new brand that's been added, which is like Fixed, Fixed D. So I wonder if I can find an item from that brand so I can look it up. Wait, no, I think I can just, yeah, I can sort by company. Let's see what Fixed D is like. Aha! A storage shelf for the Bessie figures? I see. Okay. Alright, I see. I suppose I have to, don't I? <laughs> to the streamer room! There we go. I, I sure am on Twitch. So, you know what? I do want a cauldron of bits. That would be very nice. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, let's get a hype train too. Why not? Put you on the shelf. Do, do, do. Choo choo. I got it. Bum bum bum. Oh, because I've got uh, seven of these figures so far. How many spaces are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm missing two. I'm missing two of these decorations. And I know these are like things that you pick up on the jobs. So that's going to be fun figuring out which one I don't have. That's probably something I'll try and figure out off stream. I'll look up which one is from which job to figure out which one I didn't find. So I can hopefully find those next time I play this. Because I want the full collection. I want the collection of all of the Bessies. But, uh... Yeah, I think my house is turning out nicely. Uh. Ah. Oh, that sounds like hard work. <laughs> oh, but you get to see a lot of cats. Oh, yes. I, f I feel like it's always like a stereotype of like the dog attacking the postman. Like when you think of cartoons and stuff, it's always like the, the dog biting the postman. <laughs> But yeah, there's there's a lot of cats in my local area too, and it's it's always really nice, like just walking down the street and just being like, oh, there's a cat. Let me hold out my hand. Let's see if you you will let me give you a little little pet, a little stroke. And a lot of the time, a lot of the cats in my area are very friendly. Like our next door neighbor has two cats, and they like to like sit on our gate, <laughs> like on top of our home gate. So it's always really sweet walking out and just seeing a cat there. It's uh, it's part of the reason why Tiffany is an indoor cat, because she doesn't do well with other cats. And there are a lot of cats in our area. So we don't want to risk her encountering other cats and not getting along well. Like, it's bad enough when she just sees them out the window and her tail puffs up and she gets mad. So she's she's an indoor cat. She only goes outside when supervised. Because we do have a big back garden with tall fences, so she does go out sometimes, have a little roam around the garden, but we always make sure she's supervised. <laughs> like, she's not allowed out on her own because she will get into trouble. But she doesn't, like, really want to go out that much anyway. She's very content to just lounge around the house. It's like, grab one of her toys and just zoomies up and down the stairs. <laughs> 
But I guess it helps that she does have like the run of the house a lot of the time. Like there's only we only really keep the kitchen door shut so that she doesn't go on the kitchen counters. And the rest of the house, most of the time, all of the doors are open. Like Xander shuts his door at night, but then me and mum have our doors open. So she always has a bed to sleep on. And yeah, everywhere else is just open to her. So I think because she has that space, she doesn't feel that she needs to go outside. She has like, she can run very far. <laughs> Right, the first thing I want to do now, I want to see if I can find that cat wallpaper. Because there was a cat wallpaper, and I need it. I want it. Oh, clear filters. Uh, okay, wallpaper. Where's the cat? Where's the cat? I need the cat. Where's the cat? There's the cat! 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 Cat. Cat wallpaper. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Also, Kurazu, hello, welcome! Oh, that's a lot of text. Don't worry about it. Uh, Zariad is just sharing postman adventures. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Welcome, welcome! How's it going? Welcome to House Flipper Times. I am I just did... I finished the last job that's available in the game at the moment. So now I'm buying myself cat wallpaper for my house. Because I need it. I require it. It is essential I have this wallpaper. <laughs> Look at, oh my goodness. Oh, I think I actually want to change the colors a bit. I want to make this a bit less bluey, a bit more tealy, like that, yes. Let's see how this looks. I think that's the one. I think this is the wallpaper, look at that. Oh my goodness, I love this. I love this. I love this wallpaper. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy this exists. This is amazing. This is so per perfect. Look at this. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, yes. Do I want to do it for this wall as well? I kind of do. Will it be overkill? I don't care. I just want this. <laughs> I want this wallpaper. I love this. Oh my goodness. That's so good. Oh, it's perfect. That's what I needed. That this is my bedroom now. This is this is my bedroom now. <laughs> that is my room. It might be a little bit much at the moment. To be quite honest, it might be a little too much, but I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea inspired by the allergy house that I did. I have an idea. Accent wall. Well, it's, I was kind of going for the accent wall, but but no. What I'm thinking of is this. I'm framing the windows. Yes. I'm framing the windows. So with that, it'll break up the, the cat a little bit. Just frame the windows like that. But then there's still cat. There's still a lot of cat. I like this. I think I might even make this this white. I feel like the white is a bit too stark. I think I'm going to make all these walls pink as well. But like the paler pink, so it's not overwhelming. But I like, I like how that looks. I'm happy with that. I think that looks nice. <laughs> But oh, as, as soon as I, like, I saw the cat wallpaper in a job that I did. And as soon as I saw it, I was just like, why do I not have this in my house already? Why did I not put this in my house? Why do I not already have this on my walls? <laughs> I must fix it. And then we go 
And that, da, da, da. Oh, that's too far down. Yes. Oh. Now I do. Oh. Grab the paint again. I probably could have just taken the paint can up with me. But that would be smart. And I'm not right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think this looks nice. I think the white was a bit too drastic, it was a bit too stark. But with this, because it's the same shade of pink in the cat wallpaper, I think that goes really nicely. I like that. And especially, like, because I'm thinking, if I had, like, some shelves and stuff to this wall, with, like, the cat backdrop, I think that'll look nice. Oh, actually, no. Now I'm just, like, what if I have it behind the bed? What if I just completely change my mind and have it behind the, d the bed instead? Behind the bed. Behind the bed. I don't know what I want to do with this wallpaper. <laughs> I've kind of just made a cat corner now. Because then I'm like, if I make this pink, then it's just like framing the bed. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. I'm going to bring the pink paint up so I don't keep running back and downstairs. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm going to paint over this to see what it looks like. But yeah. Yeah, honestly, the little things in life. Like, I feel like seeing cats would be enough to make me appreciate anything. I think if I do this, I, I don't want it to be right in the corner. I want to have, like, a little break. Like, here. And then I'll move the bed over. Oh, actually, mm. that I want to use this. I actually think I might have an idea. Let me see if I can make this work. In the center. Like that. Is that central? Oh, I, I missed some of the wallpaper. Can fix that. I may have to move the bed out to get the rest of the wallpaper. Does that work? I think that works. I think that works, and I think that's central. I'm actually going to move these over more into the cats as well, like that. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I think it still needs work. I think it still needs something else. But I think I can work with this. I think I can work with this. Right, what time is it? Oh, it's already ten quarter to six. It's nearly time for me to get some dinner. 
Right, let's get some stuff in here. I want to get my laundry room sorted. I need a washing machine. And I need a dryer. I want the expensive one. Is that the expensive one? Yeah, I'm getting the expensive one. I'm getting an expensive washing machine. And it's gonna be pink. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right, that's the washing machine now, I guess. Got a washing machine. And what brand is that? That's Kaizatsu. I can get matching things. Washing machine, dryer. Getting a washer and a dryer. Yeah, the metallic teal is cool. I think I might change the pink. The pink looks a bit weird next to that. I may just make it like silver. You know what, let's make it sandblasted steel, whatever that means. And copy style, boop. We'll have teal utilities. <laughs> All right, so I've got the washing machine, I've got a dryer. What else do I need? Um, hmm. I need a Roomba, that's what I need. Not what I was looking for, but I, I definitely need a Roomba, so. <laughs> Don't mind me, let's just, um, there we go. <laughs> right, and then, because I want this to be like a laundry room, but also like a storage room, like a pantry for keeping my food and stuff in. So I'm gonna go storage, shelves. No, I want like shelving units. Where's large storage? Oh, tall storage? Yeah, tall storage, this is what I need. I think just something plain like this. I, I don't want it to be super... Super busy. I will make it teal. <laughs> teal and white, why not? Shelves, this is where food will go. Food storage. Also, another storage for uh, something. Maybe this can be where the boiler goes, too. Where, I know there's, like, the boiler in the store. Boiler. There's the boiler. Boiler can go in this room. Perfect. What else do I need? Because that's under bits and bobs. What are the bits and bobs are there? Okay, there's a trash chute chipboard column yeah this is really is just like all the little little extra bits oh electricity box that might be oh that's more of like an outside one but i could do with like a fuse box <laughs> oh hey fuse box this is where the fuse box is as well in case of emergencies i can't i, I oh i do want do you want an air conditioner? Right, let's, let's stick this outside. So I think this is like an outside-y aircon unit. Right? I think so. I don't know much about air conditioning. I'm from the UK. Yeah, that seems right. I think that's fine. Right, but now we actually have stuff going on in here. Oh, I wanted to see if I could make like a soundproof studio as well. Hmm. Do I build extension? Do I start building more home? <laughs> I kind of want to. Maybe here. I want to build an extension out to like here. This is my new extension now. Impulse extension. <laughs> but uh, I was 
Because at the very start of the stream, I was talking about, like, my dream house and how I wouldn't want a super big house. But as I was talking about it, I was realizing more stuff I would want. And I was like, oh, actually, one thing I would really like would be, like, a soundproof recording studio. And then I was like, well, what if I just add that to my house in here? I can give myself the recording studio I want. <laughs> so now I'm going to do it. by building an extension. And so it's gonna be like here and then this will be the door to enter it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like reduce the size of the utility storage room. So half of it will be like the storage and stuff and then the other half will be my recording studio. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll move you over here It won't let me. Oh, I don't know why it won't let me place it closer. Strange. And then what I'll do is... Check this out. Ha 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 ha! And this is where it extends! So part of it will become the recording studio, and the other part... will be the utility room. And I think I know what I want the layout to be like. I think I can imagine in my head how I want it. It's not just going to be like square rooms. So I'm going to try and plan that out before I end the stream, because this is usually about where I would stop and go and get dinner. But now that I've got this idea in my head, I'm like, I need to, I need to plan this out before I go. I need to, I need to realize my vision. Because right, what I'm thinking is, I'll build a wall here. Here. Like this. Okay, the light's gonna get in the way. I need to add another layer afterwards. Build the wall. There is wall. And then this will go along here. And so now this part here will connect around to here and be the recording studio. And this will be the, the rest of it will be the laundry room. In a weird L shape, because why not? Yes. My plan. So this is, this is the utility room now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have like the washing machine over here, dryer over here. I'll maybe put some like baskets and stuff to put laundry baskets in. That goes like this, that goes like this. Oh, actually, no, I'm gonna do the shelves this way around. And then fuse box can go on this wall figure out where the boiler goes in a second. Have those like that. So there's all the storage. That's where the washer and dryer goes. Boiler can just kind of stay there, I guess. That's fine. And then fuse box is here. And so this is utility and storage room. And then now when I go back around to here, what I will do is I'll connect this, I'll move where my desk is, and add a drawer here. Draw a door. I know how to speak, I promise. I'll add a door here, and then this will lead into my soundproof uh, recording studio. <laughs> my dream home. This is the recording studio. Woohoo! Let me just, um, trap myself in here. Da, 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 da. I will have to move my desk and the window, but I think it'll be good. I think it's worth it. And so now, if I sell this window, I said sell. I sell that window, sell that. This will be where the door will be. Oh, I might need to bring this back a little further.
Yeah, bring this back a bit further. Like that? Bring this to like here, maybe. Yeah, do this like this, and then this is gonna be where the door goes and it leads through into the recording studio. Yeah, I think I've planned this out well. It's all very bare bricks at the moment. Still a lot that needs to be done to fully realize it, but I have a plan. The plan is in set in place, the plan is in motion. And that means next time I play this, I can fully do like paint the walls, get everything neat and sorted and make my recording studio. <laughs> But yeah, the, the desk is right here at the moment, so that will have to move. But I can do that. But yes, I think that is a good spot to leave it at, though. Oh no, you're falling asleep midstream. Oh, I'm glad you were comfy enough for that to happen. <laughs> also, yeah, I really love the sound of the brick laying in this game. It's so nice. All right, let's give it a save. Let's go to the main menu the very loud music again and with that I shall bloop. I'll head on over to here and we can find someone to send a raid on to so I can go and feed myself and also Tiffany hee <laughs> <laughs> yeah, falling asleep to a comfy stream is like the best kind of compliment I I feel like some people would get mad about it but I'm always just like oh you were you were that relaxed you were that comfortable I'm so glad it makes me happy because <laughs> it's what I aim for. I just want to like hang out, have a comfy time, have a, a nice environment to just chill and relax and enjoy yourself. Just forget about the world. Just think about the bricks. Think about the houses. Think about the cat wallpaper. <laughs> but yes, it has been four hours though, so I should probably go and get some food because um, I... I had a sandwich for lunch, but I didn't really have much to eat for lunch, so I'm feeling hungry now. <laughs> but uh, this has been really nice, though. It's I, I want to do more frequent House Flipper streams, because it feels like it's been a bit sporadic recently, mostly because I said I would take a break and then kind of half took a break and just kept playing the story games I've been doing. But I, I really miss the house flippy times, though. It's been so nice. But, oh, I'm so glad you think so. I'm glad you think they're relaxed. Feel good and wholesome. That one cannot help but be in a state of relaxation. Sometimes even sleepy. Honestly, like, it's, it's like the nicest compliment. I, I like being able to provide a comfy environment like that. It's, it's what I want. We're just chilling, having a good time. <laughs> But yes, I should go get some dinner now, so let me find someone to send a raid on to. Let's see who's around. Who is on at the moment? I just like tapped back into my browser and it's just the tracking info for my keyboard. <laughs> Oh, uh, 5 to 22 estimated business days. Soon, soon I'm going to have my beautiful ASMR keyboard. <laughs> Who's around? Oh, I, I could raid Marigato. She raided me yesterday. I could just... Oh, actually, no. No, I know who I want to raid. Uh, I'm going to send the raid over to the lovely V4 Velcro. Because Vel at the moment is doing a husbando tier list. <laughs> and uh, I, I submitted some fictional men to it. So I'm very curious to see where they rank. But uh, Vel is lovely. She recently debuted her 3D model. She got a, a full 3D model and it is gorgeous. She is so beautiful. She is so stunning. And she is just a really lovely person as well. So I'm going to send her over Vel's way. And we'll see where the husbandos rank <laughs> anyway here is the raid message if you're subbed we have comfy if not we have hearts and I shall send you over to the lovely v4 velcro and we'll see 
where everyone is tiered. I, I feel like I don't recognize half these people. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting to know if I actually know who any of them are, except for like the two I submitted. But uh, it's been a really nice stream though. Thank you all for joining me. I'll be back again on Friday for some slightly less comfy times <laughs> as Xander and I begin to explore the mines in Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. <laughs> And I have a feeling it's gonna be interesting, I think. But yes, for now, I shall go get some dinner for myself and Tiffany because she's gonna be really mad. I, I'm like three minutes late in feeding her. She's gonna be so angry. <laughs> but uh, it's been a really lovely stream. I've had a, a lovely time. It's been a nice relax. But yes, now, um, um, um. now I consume food. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. And until next time, 